Ladies and gentlemen, from beautiful Uptown Burbank, Harmontown is now in session. Let's welcome to the stage the Game Master, Spencer Crittenden. And your mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. very much thank you for coming out it's a holiday weekend it's a night it's a, it's a we take it for granted that we, we keep filling this place but uh we, you know we've got this venue now and it's like it's not easy to get people over here it's burbank <laughs> so these, these these all these people that keep filling the joint they're they're obviously um we could probably do anything we, we, we got them on the hook who, who drove really far like from, from la like how far did you come from you drove from Minnesota. See, now that's a hell of a drive. Yeah, that's a lot harder. You must have, you must have left like this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who wants to go to uh, Burbank from Minnesota? That's crazy. What part of Minnesota are you from? Uh, the, Twin Cities. the Twin Cities. Which ones? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Hello, Dan, how you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, you, you seem like you got something on your mind. Well, no, I'm just trying to think of what I do have on my mind. I'm afraid I don't have anything on my mind. It seems I'm, like you have nothing on your mind right I'm, now. I'm, uh, I'm in the midst of a like a deadline on a on a treatment that I'm that I'm supposed to turn in. I should have turned in on Friday, and I just kind of it's been one of those weekends where you saw it coming, and it was like it's a four day weekend. This is going to be great. I got the the sick dog, so I wasn't even allowed to leave the house. So it was really. Cody and I were like, it's gonna be four days in the house, like just sitting in bed, we, 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 and we don't even have to feel like we're bad people for doing that because we got a dog that, to take care of. And, uh, this and is, then I had to go, Nigel fuck okay? it up. Is Nigel all right? Yeah, he's okay. He, yeah, Nigel, so yeah, Nigel ate like a big clump of grass, and then he uh, uh, it, it was in there, and then I, it, it, look, man, I. I, I <sighs> So Spencer was, you know, was the hey point guys. man on this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like doing that Spencer? Nigel open. So, 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 so we go, we go into the the veterinarian and uh, with the with the with the Nigel dog, and uh, and the doctor comes in and he's taking X rays and then he's taking X rays the next day. So he's analyzing this thing, and he he, he and it's like oh, there's this thing in his stomach, and he's like, I thought we were bringing him in for surgery, but then the guy says. Uh, he goes, uh, well, at this point, you know, I think uh, we should just wait because it's moving, this thing. And it's just like this big thing. It looks like a tube sock, but it looks like a tube sock because now it's in its intestine. So everything that you would put in there would look like a tube sock. <laughs> the, 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 you, could put, you could put gold in there and it would look like a tube sock. It's kind of a neat idea. Um, <laughs> The uh, and he keep but he has this like thing and I'd still I'll never know I, I don't know he just kept going like we would say well he's panting now and then he'd go well you guys he's a sick dog and he just had that like lilting tone and every sentence began with you guys and so and then we'd go like so so you think we shouldn't we shouldn't operate on him well you guys it's you know it's it's we don't know or, or something like, like and every and like the fifth time he did that. I, I said, you know, you do this thing where you keep saying you guys and like, and there's this tone and it's, it, with the message that we're getting is that you don't want any information we're from We're not us. doing anything wrong, doctor. We're asking questions and saying words. Right. Like we're he's getting mad at us. We, 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 we were, thinking, we're assuming that the, the science of caring for a dog, since the dog can't talk, like that maybe it might involve co collecting some data from us or maybe hey i mean what i mean i was just like i i just want usually in that situation maybe and then maybe this is a bad habit that i have maybe i'm a bully maybe i, I like like when people are making me uncomfortable making me feel bad maybe i'm accustomed to the fact that then i'll shine a spotlight on it and maybe because i'm a six foot tall uh fat like ursine kind of dude like like maybe maybe i get it maybe i'm like spoiled like maybe like most of the people i'm talking to Maybe I wouldn't do that if I was talking to like The Rock, you know. I, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't like adjust him, you know. Like, 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 like I, maybe I need to examine that. It's like, like a bit, but I, I haven't thought about that because.
because it always works because usually what the person does is they go oh god oh geez no because the very fact of like you're a, you're just pointing out that there seems to be some kind of breakdown is enough to get everybody kind of scrambled and then you reset now you're recalibrated and you're communicating as humans that's what I usually find. But it, I, I was like, hey, you know, you're doing this thing and it sounds like you don't want us to talk to you and uh, we don't know if we're supposed to say anything and, and that's all. If that's the case, then I don't know. And, and, then, he, and then he just kind of blinked, right? And then he was like, uh, well, you know, it's a, it, you know, he's a sick dog and uh, he's going to say, you know, my recommendation is at this point we should wait. And, you know, if you guys don't like uh, having me as a doctor, you know, you could get another doctor. You know, they're and I was like, what? Whoa! Whoa! But I, I didn't do any. I was like reeling, and I was like, like, like silence. I was like, I don't, how do I react to this? And during the silence, Spencer goes, "If you think that's best." Well, it was. It wasn't like just hold on, just hold on. It, I think said. I think I said that we trusted his opinion, and we'll do whatever he thinks we should do, or something like that. I don't think it was like sarcastic. Like, yeah, give us another doctor. I oh, think no, it was no, like. No, you know, yeah, you, you, no, you know, we trust. You're the guy. Right. You're the guy to listen to. You, you right. don't, you don't want to is, piss off a doctor when your your dog is sick. It's like you're pissing off. Like a waiter can spit in your food. Yeah. You, it, your doctor can metaphorically spit in your dog. And <laughs> yes, he could. Kill your dog. So so that guy leaves. He right. just leaves. I'm and like, then I heard the him I... slap an animal. I thought when he said, uh, "You guys, if you guys want, you can see another doctor." I thought he was saying it like a like a teenager would say it, like a like a passive aggressive kind of like, you know, well, maybe I'll go eat some worms if you want me to go eat some worms, you know? Like, and we're supposed to go, "Oh no, you're a great doctor," which is why I was like stunned. I didn't know what he was saying was, "Oh, we have several doctors here. Let me go get another one," which I guess is what he's doing. You could hear him faintly out there talking to another guy, and I'm like saying to Spencer, like, "What? What is it? Me? Is it you? Is it what? Is it the dog? What is it? Him? Like?" And I was like, "I don't think he." knows that he sounds passive aggressive. I right. think he's just stupid in that sense. Yeah, he had like a, you know, maybe an aptitude for uh, treating dogs probably doesn't uh, spike in the same brain statistically as an aptitude for like communicating with people. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, th th there are certain uh, fields of medicine that like, like doctors will tell you that like, no, like we're not people persons or we're not people people. We're, 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 we want to solve you. We don't want to hang out with you or talk to you. We don't touch you. Right. Uh, we, we just want to like open you up and look at your insides. Sure, maybe this guy was like, oh, I get it. They're animals, so I can be like a savage, horrible, primal monster. Maybe, I... maybe you're so ursine, and because he's a veterinarian, he thought you might actually be a bear. Right. <laughs> and so it was like a... And he kept saying, you guys, to prove that you're actually a person and not a bear. It was the veterinarian equivalent of like a racism thing. Like, where, where it, it's like he didn't really believe I was a bear, like a magic talking bear, but... <laughs> I, I put off enough of a ba bear vibe right. that a guy who loves dogs and cats and treats their ales is like, I don't like this guy. Yeah. Looks, he looks like someone that eats in a landfill. <laughs> and, and, and that's an enemy of, of, of the canine and the feline in my book. My name's not Dr. Asshole. So, 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 so five minutes goes by and the new doctor comes in. And he goes, hello, my name's Dr. Ruiz. And, and that was a surprise. We did not expect a different doctor to no. come through the door. Yeah, we, I, I thought maybe like a bouncer from Jerry Springer would come in or something and like, oh, like well, you guys got to go. Like, uh, we need this room. I, we didn't really, but a new, a new doctor comes in. Hi, I'm Dr. Ruiz. He, he shakes our hands and then he's just looking at the x-rays and, he, and he, he, he acts like there's, but he just, like, like nothing has happened. He goes, he goes like, oh, Dr. Ruiz. So, uh, so we're going to do some exploratory sur surgery on, on Nigel. We're going to go in and we're going to pull this foreign body out uh, and, and I'm like what? And, 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 Sp and Spencer says okay but uh, what would you say if we told you that the last guy said the exact opposite thing <laughs> and the guy says oh no I know that I just talked to him I totally disagree with him I have a, I have a totally second opinion are, are, about are what to partners? do about your dog. Are, are, is, it, is it Anderson and Ruiz? Like, 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 they're like that's cop, the name of cop. They're like, this is the thing that will plague me forever because this guy was nice and I was like, yes, now we're talking. Cut my dog open. See you later. Here's $1,700. I'll see you three days from now. I should change my dog's life with a scalpel and just walked out skipping and going, and going like, by the way, that first guy's a prick. But like, 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 what, what, was I my part of some? Were they just like, like, you know, like, you, you know, the, like, the, the guy comes out and he goes like, oh, we gotta, you know, they probably have some veterinarian code for it. Like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, DFI, or whatever. Yeah, like, that's <laughs> not, like, like, we, we, like, gotcha. Let's cut his dog open and make him pay. And like, 
we only, we just is the is the is the second Wait, guy yeah, 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 the, the is the first... second guy totally inept and loved do they call him the butcher of Burbank and like uh, but but he's uh, he's a people pleaser and so and so uh, was our first guy like the Einstein of of of, of dog eat dogs eating shit and, and, and it was just like fuck man you know like 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 when he's on Charlie Rose Charlie Rose will go what what do you think is the biggest problem facing veterinarian medicine I think it's I think it's the worship of the myth of bedside manner I got to tell you I I like like like. I, I've, I, I think we're. I think we. We. we, we these. These are patients that can't speak to us, and if they could. I'm sorry, I'm getting upset, Charlie. He's like, yeah, well, you're doing this thing. You sound kind of patronizing. See, it's happening again. But I'm telling you, I'm a good fucking dog doctor, and I could have been a brilliant child doctor, but nobody's going to let me near those little fuckers. <laughs> I, like, like, so, I, so, I, so I humble myself, I stoop, I try to do my best, no harm. I come into this stinky hospital. I'm dealing with these little, tiny, scaled-down, disposable patients. Uh, but I'm still a big prick. I'm still the worst guy at the hospital. And he, he's like, he's trying to save you money. He's like, I don't think this is a big deal. Yeah. You, you're gonna talk to Ruiz in, in 45 seconds, and he loves to charge you for. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll go get Jack the Ripper. Uh, uh, elective, yep. <laughs> elective dog surgery. Well, you like feeling good about uh, about yourself. You know, you want to make a best friend that, that loves cutting your dog up. I'll go get him. So what happened? Did, did, did Nigel get sliced open? Yeah. And they. And they <laughs> And the ongoing debate was, is this going to be the world's, is this going to be the end of our Miundi's uh, relationship? Because is he going to pull out like a whole thing? Because the Nigel just eats a lot of fabric and stuff. And it looked like, you know, they, they give the dog barium. And then all we knew is that there's a big thing that soaked up all the barium moving very slowly through him. So they, then Spencer called the hospital. And then uh, uh, the, the subtext of the story is Spencer loves my dog more than me. Uh, the, the, but and he said they, they, they pulled grass out of him. It was just grass. It was a bunch of grass, yeah. You know, cows, it takes them like three whole stomachs to digest that it's shit. Cellulose, you can't digest cellulose unless you're a... Dog. Uh, oh, wait, wait, no. no. Dogs and humans who don't talk. Deer and uh, cows, that's it. They, have, they have different systems to digest cellulose. If you can get into the cellulose digesting game, that's like... Oh, boy. That's like panning for gold. Like, 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 like you got to make a lot of biological sacrifices. You there's probably, there's like, so much food in elephant poop that elephants, if they get hungry, can eat their own poop. There's still that much food in Because it's poop. hard to break cellulose down. It but really they, is. So they break down a little bit. It's like a very difficult thing. You know, I guess maybe grass at one point was like, Jesus Christ, what are we, the, 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 the biosphere's toilet paper? Like, what are, like everyone's just going to eat us? Fine. Try, try eating us now. <laughs> and then everyone was like, boom, ah, ah, and they're like, yeah. My, my dog, I had, a, I had, a, I had a, cr a crazy dog when I was a kid and ate a bean bag open and ate all the, st the little tiny styrofoam pellets. Ate like as much as, a, as, as could fit inside of a dog. <laughs> and then just kept pooping styrofoam poop. Yeah. Which was amazing because it was like the easiest poop to pick up. Because it was so lightweight and <laughs> versatile. And then one time, ate, went into one of my shoes, ate the shoe, like, like a basketball shoe I had, it had like one of the, the, the foot liners, like little pads that goes in there. Ate the thing, and it came out a spiral foot liner. It, 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 did, it came out, like, you could have put that back in the shoe. Well, not, yeah, Nigel dogs eats like fucking everything. boa constrictors. Like, Nigel, food Nigel, goes... Nigel ate a coat hanger two days before this all happened, which is why I thought, I was like, oh, it's a coat hanger. He must have wood splinters in there. He ate a coat hanger, a wooden, a nice wooden coat hanger. He probably ate the, ate the grass to, uh, like, chase it. That... <laughs> it's probably, it could be what it was. They yeah. eat something softer than a coat hanger. They do, Jesus they do Christ. eat grass. If, you know, that's what everyone keeps saying. Well, you know, they eat grass when their stomach hurts. I'm like, what is this, what is this information? Why are you gainsaying me? It's a story. They already pulled it out. What do you want me to do about that? You want me to go talk to the dog? I think dog? they want you talk. to not know more than they do because they studied medicine and they know how to fix dogs. Oh, well, no, I was talking about people on Twitter. That's oh, okay. Just like you said. Oh, the, don't, don't do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think grass is thinking? What was it, by, like, uh, evolutionarily, like, wait, what, what was it? So gra grass is like a half step up from, because I know moss, you know, I know moss. And... <laughs> Moss is like pre Can, can pre we have one podcast, Dan, when you're not going on your moss rants? <laughs> moss is like your, your basically your first plant, you know? It's like the idea of like, well, why don't we maybe, well, what are we doing on the water all the time? Why don't we just like be on a rock next to the water? And then like, like we'll get splashed and we'll drink that, but then we'll get a lot more sunlight or something like that. But and it's, that's before the advent, because then you're just limited to like the, the, the surface of uh, things. 
And, uh, and then the big, the big step was capillary action, taking advantage of water's slight negative ionic charge, which you will see illustrated when you do dishes and try to pull your plates apart. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a whole, that's, that's how, but water, if it didn't have that, if it didn't have that slight charge to it, then it couldn't be drawn up as far basically as you want to. A redwood tree is using that, that, uh, that slight charge to carry uh, water all the way up. I'm probably very wrong about most of this. <laughs> but it's the precursor this, of Just by the way, Dan, went to, Dan briefly went to community college and, and <laughs> took a biology class, learned a lot about plants, and now knows exactly this much about plants, yeah. but wrote a TV show about going to community college. Right. But it's pretty fascinating because water has, the first thing you learn in biology is like, well, let's talk about water first. It's because the water is like, this, oh, it's everywhere to us. And it's like, oh, water, fuck water. Like, uh, you eat shit, water, you're a piece of shit. Like, you're just like, whatever. Like, oh, water's here, who cares? Uh, uh, oh, it's old 80% of the earth. Uh, and, but water is, uh, it's a magical, a magical, <laughs> it's not magical. That's, that's, if I'm trying to get you interested in science, I shouldn't call things magical. Uh, you should, I, would, I, should, I should I should write a book about wizards or something, and if I wanted to, uh, the, the, you the, should the, write a book about wizards. I, I, good. And you know what? It's not hard. Um, it has many properties that make life on Earth possible. If water was just a little bit different in any way, for instance, water expands when it freezes, so it floats. So a planet that goes through an ice age. The water on top freezes, and you get your little tiny boogans underneath. The little, your little creep, creepy fish. They can, they can keep living. All as you know, like little, little monsters. Cryo boogans, they call them. Cryo boogans. Yeah. And that Earth thaws, and we come crawling back out. And we go, let's, let's, let's do this again. Hmm? We couldn't do that if you're if, fucking if, dropping some serious science on this show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like your Pink Floyd shirt. That's that's very exciting. Yeah, Cody went to the uh, to the Roger Waters concert. Uh, I guess he has like this big dick. Like, like, like it's a, she showed me pictures. Like, did, did anyone go to the? Does anyone, is anyone into Roger Waters? Like, hey, it's a, like, like, I got, she showed me a picture. I'm, a, I'm, very, I, I, when I was uh, your age, I, I, uh, I, I mean, when I was 15, I, I was like really into the Roger Waters Pink Floyd. It was very important to me, and, and but I never actually bothered to see a photo of him because this was all it was pre-internet. I would never go type Roger Waters. Oh, let's see how he looks because I'm not a vain person. I don't, I don't live in that world. For I, 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 I thought he was probably black because he was important to me. And I didn't care. I cared enough to think he was black and positively judged him for the color of his skin. Uh, but anyways, he, he's, a, I mean, he's a very fit man because he's got to be 109. And, and, and like he, 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 but he, so he's like, I mean, he's definitely like not eating what I ate this weekend, but it, and it's like a picture of him from the from the thing but he's just like he's got this big boner in his pants and cody sent me a photo he's like look how big his dick is and look 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 how hard it gets from his work <laughs> and like really you can just like this is very like 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 that's a he he wins because also he made that album and it was like oh hey well walls are important to kids because they're about education or psychology like well I'm young I'm gonna oh I got it's all oh, it's a brick in the wall and then and then he got into his you know Steve Martin's uh, tweeting a couple a uh, couple bad jokes on Twitter kind of phase where you're like kind of like okay I'm not the sharpest guy I should probably try to hire writers from here. Uh, like kind of, you know, we get. I'm getting to that age where you you want to start mentoring in comedy and, and and other things. Like you're not, you know, like well, you know, you kind of you're going into your Gandalf the Brown phase. Uh, kind of just like going, <laughs> going, going, just to, like start getting into growing basil or something. And uh, but at that exact <laughs> age, the Berlin Wall comes down, and Roger Waters comes out of retirement. So like, like, oh, let's do a concert for the Wall because it's oh the Wall, and now now you got, and then Trump is like, oh the Wall, and he he was like, let's do it. <laughs> he's got he's got a perfect life. I bet he was just out of money, and then Trump was like, we're gonna build a wall, and he was like, and then he, he slewed down a fire pole, and yes. or, or his own dick. In his head, doom, do, 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 <laughs> money. Uh, so Roger Waters has got a big 90-year-old cock? He's got a giant baton in his pants. 
Or he's so vain that he puts like a flashlight down there because it's important. Maybe that's like a holdover from 60s rock. He's like, well, you got to do it. Everybody does it. Yeah, yeah I mean, you got to stuff, he, ladies. He, people did stuff. He yeah. might have. He might. He might be an old school stuffer. Yeah, he's probably not even thinking about it. It's like you know. We should have him on the show and find out whether. He, pardon? You know people that are on tour with him. Can you All right, can well, you text him right now and find out how big his dick is? All right. I've got a little black book with my poems in it. Got a bag, got a toothbrush, and a comb. Stevie Nicks? Mm. All right. That was uh, some stuff I talked about at that weird show we did last week at that freaky Chris Hardwick uh, cult meeting yeah. that we went to. It was weird. Of, yeah, of... We, we met out in the woods and... Uh, it, 90% of the crowd was dressed as stormtroopers or me seeks. It was pretty wild. I'll go wherever Hardwick tells me to go. It's, it's called the patriarchy. Look it up. Like, uh, uh, it's, 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 his, 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 he's a hard wick. I would, I would go, if, if, he was, if he was a soft wick, I would, I would listen to him 10% less. And uh, if he had no wick at all, f nope, can't be president. Uh, oh, not funny. To, uh, okay. <laughs> Too true. Okay. Just a little, it started out as simple wordplay and penis jokes turned into a, a, a negatively resonant uh, late motif for the ladies and the men that support them. It wasn't like there was a bunch of guys going, ha, 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 women can't be president. We got, we got a lot of enlightened people here. I'm sorry I hurt you. You're probably very excited then about that, uh, the, um, the fact that the 25th Amendment is now going to be invoked because he tweeted a meme. Uh, with a CNN thing on it. Oh yeah, we're all just so like fucking. We're like, no, it's not. What are you talking? Just stop. I think this is this was like the big turning point. Like I saw people on Twitter being like, even saying to guys I really like, like Keith Olbermann and stuff. They were just going like, like Keith Olbermann going, look, this is it. They tweeted a meme with a CNN and is a wrestler hitting him, and we got we must now for the seven hundredth time. We must do something about this man. And then just like a couple people tweeting like, this is just a, like a sideshow now. Like, I don't even want to do this anymore. Like this thing where we pretend like you can stop the Antichrist. Like it's not, let's just enjoy it. It's biblical. Let's just enjoy it. I think, I think it, I, I, it's, it's, it's not a cheery thought, but I was thinking today when I, I had the same reaction to that. It's like, like we're going to look back fondly on today, like on these days, because he's not a professional tyrant. The next president's going to be worse than him. He, he, he's a clown. It's going to get worse. We're not going to go like, oh, this is the dark ages, and we're going to have an awesome president next time. It's going to get sadder and worse, but the next people are going to be pros, not, not winging it and not being, you know, like, like just crappy, you know, WWF characters, you know. Well, it's like this monkey got loose on the Paramount lot, and... <laughs> And like everyone's chasing it and going, get back here, Bobo! And 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 but Bobo like is running into sound stages and like turning on cameras and putting on a hat and like getting a two-point rating, you know? Like, and, and and so everyone that's everyone chasing him or cheering him on is all going, ha, that crazy monkey! Shit, you can do that! Like they said, like the monkey doesn't even know what it's doing. Like it's running into edit bays and like pressing buttons that make just like champagne and coke come out of a, a big sliding wall that was hidden from the Robert Evans era. And like everyone's like, okay, noted there too. Uh, uh, so 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 if you have more than a 90 IQ plus choose fascism, you could really get some shit done in this country. Whereas he's just going like, I got lonely, I'm lonely. So, and, 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 and like he went throughout his life, like he was a, he was a, he was this son of a fucking slumlord with a trust fund. He blew through, and then one day he tried. He was a Democrat, and he tried to get rich people to like him, and rich people were like, "You're tacky, you're gross, like you're creepy." I heard you fucked a 13-year-old. Get out of here, and then. <laughs> And he's like, Duh, those are allegations. And like, it means, it's, you know, I don't have those allegations against me. <laughs> I don't want the system to work that way, but I just think that you shouldn't have 13-year-olds accusing you of fucking them. All right, so the, 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 just Google it and like, let's figure it out. I don't know if the, 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 he had like a preteen model agency. Like, who has that? Uh, the, 
I, so, so he was like, so he's like, you know, he's like doing high society and like, like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big rich guy, and I want to hang out with the Baldwins and the and the things and the and, and they're, you know, they're just he was just kind of a joke, and then he's just like getting older and older, and then he's like, and then he's, and then he's like, so he's like, well, what, so who who in this world that's left? Like, would ever just give me what Howard Stern was giving me, what the television show was giving me, other thing, and, and it's just like, ugh, you know, the the the, the P. T. Barnum like 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 uh, the devil character from uh, uh, Needful Things was like, well, uh, I got the bin over here. I just, just just hillbilly Nazis would would love you. <laughs> Are you sure about that? That doesn't seem like a big fit to me. It sounds like a great sitcom. <laughs> I, I, like, like, no, no, they're pretty easy. Here, put on this trucker cap and just start saying I'm tired of brown people. Like, like, it'll catch on. Believe me, we're it's it's, it's we're we're rife for it. And he's like, okay, I'll try it, and it fucking worked. And I'm gonna kill myself. All right. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I was just thinking, you know, I was like, these other people are like, oh. Oh, look at it. Uh, this is it. This is a deal breaker with the wrestling thing that he tweeted. Cause it, but it was like so sad when people are like, because it's violent imagery. Is he promoting violence against journalists? Like, well, don't play into that fucking... He's promoting violence against good Photoshop or After Effects. That was pretty crude. Yeah, and the guy that did it, you know, and then everyone is like, well, look at the last uh, thing this guy did, and it's like some Nazi shit about how everyone in CNN's a Jew or whatever. And the... Uh, the um, the, See, and it's there, like, I agree. I agree with him on that one. You agree that everyone in CNN is a Jew? According to his chart, I mean, if you only go by that, I don't have any other data. Uh, the, the, it's, it's, it seemed like it was scientific. I, I, the, the, um, the, but it was like, 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 decrying that, I feel like it was like, we, we actually, didn't you kind of feel like when he, when he does something crazy, then it's like you kind of feel like, I don't know, what am I measuring it by? But it's just kind of like the Twitter zeitgeist. Like you see, a, you, I feel like you see a little spike in people going like, "All right, come on, man, knock it off, get off Twitter." Like people that voted for him going like, "Come on, you're embarrassing me," you know. <laughs> but 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 then the more that we go, that's right, he's embarrassing you, and technically he's in violation of political correctness because that's actual racism if you look it up. And then and then the person that was like, "You're embarrassing me," goes, "Oh yeah, I remember why I voted for you." Like, like, because I, I feel stupid and barbaric, and I'm tired of feeling that way. So instead of improving myself, I pulled a lever that, you know, said I would have to, I could put that off for four years. Uh, but that's us too. We're all lazy. We're all not, we're, none of us are out there doing fucking mental crunches, like trying to figure out how to be good people. I, I've only gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm just like, oh, I was wrong about everything my entire life. That's possible even when you're a genius. <laughs> So what hope do we have for morons? How are they going to flip? Like, what are we going to, like, is there going to be an obelisk outside of a uh, fucking uh, trailer park and, like, like, everyone that caused this problem is going to, like, hear this high-pitched whine and touch it and then throw a fucking uh, spray, 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 can <laughs> spray paint can in the air that turns into a, 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 a job at a solar uh, panel factory? I want you to never stop this metaphor. I want this to go on <laughs> for the rest of the show. I want that to be a, a scene in a Kubrick movie. I mean, what do we think we're going to do? We're, waiting, we're, we're in a civil war culturally. We're, we're, and, and believe me, there's just as many dumb people on both sides. Like, and laziness and, like, adds to dumbness. And it's like, at this point, we're at this, like, impasse or something. And impasses don't get, they don't just sit there. Like, we used to think we were at an impasse, but what we were really in was, like, the reign of the bipartisan system, which I used to sit there and scoff at, but we didn't know how good we had it. And it was like, oh, I want my corruption back. I want my bureaucracy back. I want my, like, I want my fucking transparent collusion between two corporations that just rig debates and fucking just hang out back like, like and, and it's like okay so that system wasn't working for other people so I'm guilty of these crimes right but then again I didn't inherit my fucking money I worked for it and see so, okay now I sound Republican like like so so so, so like hit pause hold up Somebody, one of our fans, go online, make that a remix. <laughs> whistle tip, whistle tip, go whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> but that, that was like the EDM kind of thing. Uh, they, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, well, that's a, it's not an impasse. That's the thing. Okay, so here's why. You kids, when, 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 the, when, 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 grandpa, when grandpa that made Rick and Morty and it's, oh, it's such a bummer. Why is he such a cuck? Like, like, what? <laughs> 
what, what are you doing? Why are you talking about politics? Why you make this great cartoon that's like, oh, it speaks to, 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 to the very heart of my uh, alt-right or, or Bernie Kratt or Hillary-loving or Trump-loving ass. Yeah, because I'm a genius, and it's called Resonant Storytelling and Timeless Character Craftsmanship and, and, and Justin Roiland's Coattails, and it's... <laughs> There's a delicate recipe. Also, a lot, of, I know. a lot of the background art looks like dicks, balls, and vaginas. <laughs> but uh, when, you're, when you're all bummed out, like, oh, why are you, oh, you used to be so fun. I'm sure that's not true, first of all. I'm sure, I don't remember, but I don't think I was like a laugh a minute when I was not political. I, I, I was probably just gross or something. I was probably just going like, is it me or bananas uh, uh, d d d f fitting in your ass wrong or something? I, that sounds fun. I, I, I couldn't riff at a thing. I didn't want to like... But, but like, like, like which, gotta, which end is the wrong end of the banana to put in your ass first, do you think? The banana is the atheist's worst nightmare. Google it. Uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, like, when you're all bummed out and you're going, like, Dan, what is politics? The, see, here's why you're doing that. Here's why you're thinking that. And I understand this because you're, you're younger than me, and, so, and it's, I'm not implying that when you get older, you know more. I'm saying, like, I've lived longer. So if you've lived longer, so imagine like you're listening to a 10-minute uh, a uh, song, okay? And so, and you you walk into the room and it's been playing for eight minutes, but now you're hearing your first minute of it. If, if the people that have been in that room longer are saying, I think this song is ending, Listen to them. They have gotten more of a feel for it. It doesn't. It's not so much like, oh, you're so much smarter. Your IQ keeps growing. Saying, this doesn't happen. I think everyone keeps saying that. I'm like, it's like I know the difference between like, oh, the dangling chads and the abortion arguments and the gays in the military and the Republican Democrat and just out and out like we're 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 having a little bit of a tr problem here that has really actually nothing to do with what we used to call politics because that word has for 44 years has to me has meant the boring thing the grown up thing the the part of the scam part of the thing but politics now it's like actually like I mean, there's only, once this stops being the case where everyone's like all freaked out, like it's not, the, 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 it's gonna be like, peop, you're gonna be wearing like jumpsuits and stuff and we're gonna be like walking in like stainless steel honeycombs like uh, deep beneath a Mars station and they're gonna be being, t well, I'm now I'm making it sound cool. <laughs> We're never going to get to Mars because and because whoever comes after Trump is going to be like is going to win by opposing gravity. Like as a and people are going to be like, yeah, why, why are you libtards always talking about how there's gravity if you want to get to space? <laughs> Can't you see how stupid that is? Oh, uh, here's the here's a, here's a meme of a gorilla going. Hmm, I want to go into space. I think I'll say that nothing uh, uh, can go up forever. S -s -s that's you. <laughs> because the because the world will be an ocean, and there won't there that there there will be well, okay. Well, we were wrong. Yeah, okay, we were wrong about the polar ice caps. You know, but what's, what is this gravity you're always talking about? I say, if you're, if you're poor and you want to get into space, just jump. If you believe in yourself, you should be able to fly. Uh, well, technically, you know... No, no egghead. You fucking sell out, you traitor. Jew! I know it. I haven't checked my chart yet. But you got that fucking Jurassic Park vibe. Which character? Which character? G Goldblum? Yeah, the, the Stegosaurus. <laughs> you better wake up, motherfucker. <laughs> did you see that fucking holy shit <laughs> in a bottle? Did you see that NRA video? That was like, whoa! Yeah, see, it's it's over. Like, 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 not over, like, like, I mean, you, over, like, no, yeah, that, like, school's out, like, 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 they're saying, like, it's over, everybody, get, do what you gotta do, so, like, that, that, that that's that, a cue for activists, that, that video is like what's playing on a TV in the background in RoboCop 2, like, when you, when you, <laughs> yeah, 
so much far beyond that. It was, it was crazy. Because, and here's the craziest thing about that video to me. When those guys, like, there's a, there's a, when, 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 when someone goes into a school and shoots like 20 people, and then their response is, <sighs> well, I'll tell you this much. If, if the teachers had guns, they would have, they, they would only be 10, uh, yeah, okay, all right, okay. So everybody, everybody should have had a gun. Okay, all right, well, for a second there, we thought, no, 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 everybody should have a gun. Okay, got it, I get it, I get it. There's almost an honesty there. Like I don't know if they believe it or not, but their message is transparent. They're going, "Oh, 20 kids got shot, so everyone should have a gun." There is no hidden agenda. That video, they're saying, they're pretending that they think that because police can't quell disruption enough on their own without causing more of it, that. If there's any psychos out there with their ears on, you might want to just start DIYing it. That might actually work. That's the unspoken implication is like, you should, you should jump in because the government's hands are tied. They're cucked out, man. Like, like they're, they gotta, they gotta do these Mirandas and all these things. And well, and then if the minute they poke some of the stick, if they're wearing a badge, then there's more protest. It's like, it's crazy. So, you know, and then they end it with like, now more than ever, you gotta just like, you gotta fucking hit. So what they're, so, it's like they're saying to their base, like, if you're out of your goddamn mind and you pop off, uh, it could be the solution. And they know that that's not true. They know that that person will go to prison and they know there will be even more di uh, disruption and, 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 and embroilment <laughs> and civil war and stuff. And they, I, I, I mean, I, they, it's like, like, it's almost admirable in its villainy. I mean, they're so committed. Like, I'm pretty sure like they're about six months from going, okay, now we've been putting this off for 60 years. We're finally gonna like put one foot on each dolphin here and we're gonna start being actively marketing to liberals as well, because they're gonna they're gonna have another video come out. Man, it's open season on you, motherfuckers. It's like you can't go to a protest these days without worrying about who's gonna shoot you. Am I right? Well, they already did that. You bought a gun. Uh, they already did it to me. It's that's yeah. that's that's the it's called white male fragility, not white male endurance. I'm I'm not gonna be the last person to buy a gun. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm like that little mercury thing that explodes when something gets a little too hot because uh, uh, there's a fire. But you're like, well, you haven't even have you, have you shot it yet? Have you taken? Why would it? I, I didn't get it to shoot it. I got it to wait till someone shoots me. Yeah, but you're gonna get it. <laughs> so, someone's gonna come on your doorstep with a burning pitchfork, and because uh, that's the thing. You think pitchforks are dangerous? <laughs> when you light the tips of the pitchfork on fire, oh you, my you, God. you got a real. A real problem on your hands. Yeah, I mean, in, in ancient times, uh, angry mobs needed torches and pitchforks. It was a mess. Yeah. And then uh, it took us like, why did it take us so long? It, it was, oh, I think it was Eli Whitney yeah. who found out that if you combine fire and the pitchfork, you get a flaming trident, the yeah. ultimate angry mob and then, facilitator. And if you can combine that with riding two dolphins at the same time, you're yeah. you you might be the most terrifying individual. <laughs> In mythology. <laughs> you, you, you're certainly not a redneck, that's for sure. Uh, if you were pitchforks on fire, <laughs> and you can still ride if two you're dolphins. riding on two dolphins, and the way you express your, your frustration with the ruling class or a monster is a flaming trident. You're probably not a redneck. You're probably not a redneck. You might be like <laughs> yeah. Prince Namor, I don't know. <laughs> you might be from, like, Mount Olympus. Yeah. Uh, but did you notice that jumped the shark, that invention, angry mobs, they just stopped. They, you, know, you, never, you never see the flaming trident uh, used in angry mobbery. Well, Egypt kind of did it, like the, uh, the uh, Arab Spring kind of thing. They, 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 they went full on, like, this is angry mob shit. They went storm the Bastille. Did they have flaming like, tridents? I don't, I don't... They probably have the modern equivalent of that. All right, well, we'll get back to that. Uh, Wait, what were we I'm just saying, about? but you, you're gonna you're gonna wait until somebody comes up at, at your place with a weapon to take your dog or, I mean, or, or, or or something, and then you're gonna pick up your gun like Woody Allen's gonna fly apart because you don't know how to use it. You've never like you have to. Go I've already field stripped it and cleaned it and put it back together. What I don't know how to do is get the little the rockets inside the clippy thing. <laughs> I can't. I can get one in, and then I'm like, really? This, it's this? You have to push this hard? Isn't I'm pretty it gonna sure shoot? it's going to shoot. I'm pretty sure you can go in. You can go on Google and type in how to put rockets in clippy bits, 
and you'll. I'm scared to load the magazine because also it's like that's you know now you're actually loading a gun in your house. I haven't gotten that far yet. I just put. I, but I was like, I wonder if I no, know. No, you how do. To... It takes some thumb strength to get those. Uh, nah, get I, those know, I gotta. In there. I gotta get these little bad boys ready for the revolution. <laughs> yeah, look, man. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not a role model. <laughs> I got two dogs and a girlfriend, and I live on a big house on a hill with a lot of fresh water in it. I got a gun. I got a hammer in case a nail you comes just loose. Told, you just told how, however many people listen to our podcast that you don't know how to load it. So it's, it's not really, I, I don't know what kind of security level you think you're at right now. I don't, maybe I'm all the way past into the world where I'm setting traps. Have, have you ever Maybe fight? I'm like Jigsaw. Maybe I'm like playing like lame, 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 wounded duck or whatever you call Spencer, it. Spencer, have you have you fired a weapon before? Have you fired a gun? Uh, I feel like when I was a kid, I fired a gun in a like a camping trip or something. Mm. How much fresh water did you say was in your house, Dan? <laughs> Look, you don't need a gun if you want to take my water. I just want an estimate of how much fresh water you think you have on your. Property. I keep forgetting to cancel my sparklets uh, or my Arrowhead delivery. Can I go out of town on all these shows all the time? So I've got. I have a gigantic pyramid of, of bottles of water. So the I real have, fresh I, I, water is I, 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 I have all us. the water. I felt like I used to have that, but I, I got these cameras installed because I'm Batman. And, and, uh, and now that I got the camera, I swear I thought I saw a putty chat. I thought I, thought, I, thought I saw. <laughs> I, uh, Google it. It's a great. Uh, the, 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 I, I thought I could swear I saw the Sparklets guy or whatever you call him now, the Nestle mobile oil guy, whatever fucking. <laughs> Uh, the, the Pentagon uh, Ministry of, of, of Drinkables, uh, <laughs> Centaurian, uh, 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 brought a five-gallon drum of, of, of water, and, uh, and I was watching him on the camera, like Phil Spector, just like playing with my gun and just watching him. Because <laughs> he had kind of a Cuban vibe. Uh... And I swear, it was like he came up and then the, 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 I, saw, I thought he left with water. He took my water. I think they take it now. He might take empty ones? He take, no, he was like, it was, it was heavy. Like he was like, oh, this water I brought up. I don't, I think he took my water. I don't know what happened. I don't, so I don't know why I should. Maybe he brought too many. And then I was like, oh, I got to take this back. I, I got to remember to call them. I, I, I canceled it for I forget how many months, because I've got nine thousand things of water in my place. You're not supposed to do Nestle, by the way. You know, if you're interested in your consumer dollars advocating, because like, boy, yeah. we're, we're still at that stage. <sighs> it's not at all like the branches of the government water. are collapsing into a fucking like murder van that's going to drive around. But but. Uh, <laughs> If it was 1999 and you thought the way you spent your next water dollar would influence the totally fair capitalistic uh, biosphere, in the fa the Nestle the Nestle guy like he's on record as saying in interviews like yeah I don't get it I don't understand why water is considered a natural resource that doesn't make any sense it's a product everybody buys it you need it you drink it looks like a candy bar. They also so, they're also like. They're trying to buy up all this water that's like cheap, that's like reservoirs and stuff, and they're getting these crazy deals for it. And they're just, they're gonna profit off of it, but the water they're buying is so cheap, it's like you could start a Kickstarter and buy the water for like cheaper than them, except, you know, we're not corporations, so we don't have access to these markets. But it's like, we could buy that water that we don't want necessarily to buy from us, but, you know, they won't let us do it. It's fucked up. Got to put all your money into Arrowhead. They're a Native American tribe <laughs> that uh, makes their own water out of uh, out of the rain. Trail of Tears. Out yeah. of <laughs> <laughs> they also make salt. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't think of that because I would have said it. <laughs> okay. What? What? what uh, well, <laughs> What is can, can we, can we hear can Sam Elliott's the, commercial for uh, the fully croisoned? Uh... Hello, I'm Sam Elliott for Arrowhead Water. <laughs> you know, our water's salty, and here's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Jackson. No. 80% no, no. <laughs> uh, of your body can't be wrong. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's just general water advertising. I don't know. It's not for a trail of tears. The Trail of Tears was, of course, a horrible thing that would be totally offensive, but but uh, but we made it delightful, just right. Now. Well, also there's a, it's, it's like it, it's we we it, you, the history's written by the winners, and there's not you know it's, we're not we're not afraid of the that's, I'm, that's my apology to anyone who is listening that's like that that's a little hurtful. I'm like I'm sorry, like. <laughs> Also, you know, like, 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 because it's just, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a numbers game, like, you know, like, like, what's offensive, you know, it shouldn't be like, oh, that group isn't, like, gonna million man march oh, us, mean, so, or, you, you know. You, you recently made a, I thought I'd tell a putty tent reference, they don't think you're current. <laughs> but you, 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 you're, oh, you're a baby can. boomer, you, you, you still, you know, you, you're still allowed. <laughs> so, why is it now? Just Dan's. hear those sleigh bells tingling, a ring, ting, tingling, too. Dan's got ice stuck to his well, well, bottle. I, I've never seen that much ice stick cup. to anything. <laughs> it's. Well, <laughs> should we bring up our. Let's bring up two of our friends so we can. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's bring up Abed Gaith and Kelly Fontecchio. Yeah. That's Kelly. Kelly and Abed. But, oh Hello. my God! Look at that. Kali Kazoo and oh, Real fuck. Abed too. It's a double whammy. There's a cloud underneath this crazy. What the it's fuck? It's a cloud of going? ice. A cloud of ice. Did you but not notice Kelly, that? I, I was focused sitting? on the Fontecchio, and I was like, "You I'm got gonna, the last I'm thing right, which is a big, like a big, uh, we'll take a cloud. you know, that's you a big achievement." Do. I've never said your last name. <laughs> Thank you. You said it correctly. He, he said it now, just now. Yeah. Right? yeah. Were you I named? I mean, we, we're both. We both have unpronounceable names. Were you no, named I, after I, Kali, like the uh, yeah, the, the I, I god of destruction guys. or whatever? Goddess of death. Always yeah. shake his hand when I come up. Okay. There right. you go. Well, Sorry, I had to do that. Glad we didn't miss ritual. that moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like two seconds. It's no, it was important. Very important. I did it every time I, I came up here. So. As including keep now. The tradition going. Eat that uh, mic. All right. Thanks. Right here. Callie, you're looking very smart with your fuzzy uh, Simpsons bag. There. Thank you. you. It's a uh, Soma and uh, Patty. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> My favorite part is their unshaved legs. Soma and Patty. Did, did, did you, Patty and Zelma. Did you purchase this, or is this something you created? Oh no, I purchased this. Yeah. It's a purse slash pillow. <laughs> I guess when you pass out at parties, you need that. Yeah. Because then you can just use a pillow that isn't there. Tell me There's that. never a, a pillow. I passed out at a party recently. No oh, pillow. Oh, boy. I remember you talked to a guy who passed out at a party, but you didn't care. It was, Ron, oh, yeah, that was Ron Hassler. Oh, my God. That just story. Gonna, I mean, that story's sure never it. going away. It's, like, it's like the OK Corral. Or like, it's like you shot a, a match off a buffalo's back or something. It was like, <laughs> why like, the fuck like, does that story keep coming up all the time? I'll tell you why yeah. by telling you the story. You... <laughs> It, it, it was a Halloween party, or no, it was a wizard party, and you yeah. and everybody everyone came wizard, dressed. Is it where me and everyone Justin came dressed as like actual wizards, like cone hats, like moons and stars and wands and stuff and, like uh, that. And me and Justin, we just went to a thrift store and found random shit, and then he was the wizard of cell phone technology, <laughs> and I was the wizard of the past or something. So, I had like an Indian outfit, I mean a Native American outfit. Oh shit, sorry. So the party's winding down, people are getting kind of high, there's like maybe nine people, we're tired, we're just, there's just a bunch of out of shape wizards like sitting in this the kind of like main area Because it was party. a full, it was a full on was, wizard dance party, it was just was wizards like, just dancing. Yeah dude, it was, it was fun man, I had a great time. I love of, seeing wizards All of parties. our mana has worn down, we're regenerating it. Uh, and, uh, and we're just talking, and, we're and, and at some point somebody goes like, alright, I'm gonna keep talking to you like this because I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but I want you <laughs> to, at some point, look over <laughs> to the other room where- It was Rob, wasn't it? Where Abed is sitting in a director chair, like next to uh, our friend Rod Hasler, who is also sitting in a director's chair, only like at that point, like Rod, he's like, like watch, Abed is talking to Rod, and Rod, excuse me, <laughs> Rod is just, He's falling asleep. Like he's not all the way asleep, yet, but, but like he keeps his head keeps like like it's all like if you were talking to somebody and you and they were and they went like that, 
He was slightly awake. Like, wouldn't you? I mean, was, you would. You would at some point. Maybe it's, it's, he's a bad listener. And, but 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 the but that's where heroism comes in. Like, but, I, I, like, but by the time that that passed around to me, and like everybody just look over there, don't make a big deal. And I looked over, and Rod was completely comatose. It kept getting funnier and funnier. His head was dangling like an apple on an old. Well, that's my fault. The story tree. got like, his more boring. His head was like parallel yeah. to story the floor. Getting, like there was no mistaking this man for conscious. Like I, I went to work stories, and, and it also there was a point because you were talking, and like everyone was watching you but we couldn't quite hear what you were saying but there was a point where you were you were his head was just dangling over the arm of the chair and 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 we were and as we were all watching you and then at a certain point you 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 reacted to him as if he had like interrupted you or something i think it's kind of like or like he had made a, a a good point that allowed you to to to, to well that's well, a different like matter he, he was listening but he slightly uh, zoned out like i right like maybe he snored or something and yeah. you're like well speaking of that oh <laughs> well, I, I thought he was still awake so then he did some motion that i'm like you could how could I'm you? Saying. What in the yeah. weekend at Bernie? Were you like, talking about Farscape? No, I was talking about. Well, we worked together at the time on Mansers, and I was saying stuff like, "Do, do people at work like me? Am, am I annoying?" <laughs> and I, I think like I was trying to get validation that people liked me at work, so I, I was like confused because they treated me weird there. So I'm like, hey, "Come on, they like me, right?" And I think he phased out at a certain point. <laughs> but I was so, in, in, I was so. Uh, Passionate about what I was talking about that I didn't notice he passed out. So yeah, you guys saw that. You saw me. I, I mean, he was awake two seconds ago, yeah. and then in those two seconds he fell asleep. Well, thank you for saying the words "pass out" so that we could all remember to mock yeah. you for that same thing oh, from like 11 <laughs> years ago. Look, I, it was weird because you guys looked over at the right comedic moment where it was funny. For no, me. no, we were watching you for 45 minutes. Like when, <laughs> there was no, it wasn't a window. Of, oh, we got, I got it just the right time. Like Planet Earth. Like oh man, that no. that orca okay, just leapt up we for could, real. Uh, we, we, yeah. we, we, we were all playing it cool, but marveling. Like, <laughs> you you kind of had your head down and you were making a point about Ben Folds Five or something. <laughs> And so was some record or whatever, and, and he was completely oh, yeah. oh, dead. He was a, you were talking to a, a corpse, and, and, and we're like, this, he's, like wait, he's in heaven right now. Oh, man, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, because the weird thing is later when you guys said you were watching the whole time, I was like, I didn't remember. It's yeah. like I, I did talk to him, but I mean, we I were all we were asleep. It was the end of a very long drunken party, so right, everybody right. gets a pass on that one. But it was it was it was delightful. It sounds like we're making fun of you. It, it was you, it kind it's, of it's, 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 well, not for you guys. It was delightful. I mean, I don't. I was like, no, oh, yeah, it, it was almost like watching a, a superhero, like 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 you you. You well, that's know? weird. I mean, we make fun of like, like I look. I was thinking. About I can it. talk to people while they sleep. I'm a superhero. I, I like. I, I was because I'm writing this treatment, and there's this character in the thing that the uh, uh, Mike McMahon and I are talking about, and like we're we're talking about the character, and we're like, oh, he's a he's a character that's kind of deluded himself, and like, and then we're talking about that, and uh, and then we're it was like we we it was like we. We, we, I started. I was like, I was like, wait, yeah, you know, it's like, it's like he's living his dreams. He's living as this character. He's living in his dreams, and as, as a, but, and it's like it's a fine line between that and living a lie. And I think the the, the difference is, well, what are you making other people lie? And if they say that you're lying, do you get mad at them? And I was like, oh, that's. I think that we would all admit if the stakes weren't so high that there is this half of our president or 25 percent that was like, like, like we're, we kind of marvel at his. Absolute fucking like like uh d d d dead nerved like just like <laughs> get, what, like the idea of it's it's funny and almost cool from a writer's perspective a character that if you said can you pass the salt they would say yes I will do the best job of passing salt that of anyone that's ever passed you salt D did it ask around I passed oh, the man. salt the best you see me like, as a character don't you you like, are like, a character are oh you kidding God. me no, no, I'm not talking about you you narcissist no. No. I, I understand I understand I'm just trying I'm just saying to, like I'm saying like, laser into what you're with, saying with him it's like when we when we talk about that aspect of him if you could just isolate it if you could just like suck that little bit of juice like like we're, we're envious of that because it's called like wait, it's this like is thinking like a writers positively. meeting you had with, with Mike McMahon, you yeah. were like, we can't figure out Abed. What's the deal with him? No, how does no, he, no, how does no. He function? No, I was just—it was a related thing. Oh, I see. And, and so well, I'm tying it back I'm, to I'm me. Gonna bring it back Maybe around I am the narcissist. I'm you're bringing right, it yeah. back around. You. You're, I am pretty narcissist. Thank you. You just brought it out. You're, I'm just saying, like, you're doing what you got to do. All of us have maybe blind spots, or I'm not going to try to universalize it. I'm saying, like, you, you, you could talk to a guy who is like catatonic. It's like we're making fun of you for it. I see. But like, there's also like. 
do, like it's, it's, I'm trying to learn that from this like this this like you know troglodyte that we've 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 uh, you know chosen to to celebrate our demise as a, as a culture not you the, the, the president oh, I, uh, I, I know I'm, I'm, the, 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 I'm trying I'm trying to like I'm trying to like see the see I'm like I'm like what, what, really on, what do you admire here, about yeah. him like what and, and why is he so and how come you what did you watch like Huckabee like get away with it or not get away with it like he, you can see like <laughs> Huckabee on Twitter try to like all right I guess I guess the market's prime for an old man to well, be now kind, it's of a, my turn. kind of here a goofball on Twitter it's and the you're Huckabee just like, hour no nah, you're the worst I'm r running in here <laughs> Whatever, Abed. I, 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 no, I'm with you. I'm trying to give you yeah. between my Dan explaining your Abedness, like, and you being Abed during it. It's like we're we, the audience is like we've. We, it's a black hole. We're gonna know, die. Yeah. Now, but you guys, uh, my, my wristwatch turned into show. legs. You, you, got, you guys show. are doing your own show that's gonna be happening. Uh, we are on NBC. On no. <laughs> here. On the, on, the, on the 6th, right? In a couple days. Yeah, uh, Starburns Castle. Yeah, this is what you'll see. You'll this, see it's our second cool. ever show. Our first one went off really well, like a good turnout, and our, our guest was Rich Fulcher last month, and this month oh, yeah. it's Martin Olson, who you might know Ooh. from uh, Adventure Time or Rocco's really? Modern Life. Or quite, all sorts quite a of guy, things. quite a guy. Yeah, yeah. And we uh, did a skit with him before where he was your dad, and I'm asking for a date. And then he beats the shit out of me. No, he strangles me. What does he do? I don't know. <laughs> He's a good guy. You, got, you guys ever go to Disneyland and, and go to Mickey's house in Toontown? You wait and you meet Mickey Mouse? <laughs> I just did that for the first time with my girlfriend. And uh, we, we, as you're waiting in line there, there's these awesome cartoons that are old, like vintage-looking Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse things. And that's Callie. She made those things. <laughs> well, I, did, I designed the. I did a bunch of designs. Uh, there was a whole team of people. But the design <laughs> is, the, the design is the whole point. It's like beautifully, uh, beautifully designed. It's like some of the coolest animation I've, I've seen you. in a very long time. It's like. Did you know it was her when you saw it, or you? Well, were... I, I remember seeing clips of like stuff that you posted online. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I was watching it with Church, and I was, yeah, like, I was like, oh, this is the, this is the thing that Callie worked on. Yeah. It's, it's it's like like old vintage black and white. Disney meets like Ren and Stimpy meets like uh, the triplets yeah, yeah. of Belleville. Like it's really cool. It's, 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 so, like, yeah, the background team especially are like yeah. super, super amazing. Is that yeah. Andy? Andy Suriano? Yeah, yeah, Andy oh, Suriano. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing he's Ninja great. Turtles now. Great guy. Great guy. What he looks like Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose I'm a young Burbank uh, hipster. <laughs> You just described me and Spencer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I could, you could pass for that, dude. The beard really does that. Well, sell that. Because your thought. What? A, what? A, what's? Why should I come to wh whatever your show is called? Oh. Which you should now tell us. Well, that's because it's not filmed. Wait. So, so to go back to the egotistical thing, it's called uh, "What About Me." Which because, is about uh, us going, well, what about me? Yeah, so every time someone ends a sentence, we're like, well, what about me? Like, I'm important, too. But, like, uh... Well, no, the, the birth of the show was that I was frustrated with Hollywood. Yeah. And I wanted to write and get people to see my comedy. So I was like, I'll just do a show and, you know, make it with my friend who does great music. Yeah, so we'll, it's like it's a true variety show. Yeah, there's, we'll just there's what was the, what was the most frustrating thing about Hollywood for you? <laughs> uh, well, it, 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 there's a lot of things, but mainly like I've pitched and I've. Oh, okay, also you right, might okay, know okay. Abed. Anyway. Some, he he wrote a little bit on Rick and Morty. He worked on the uh, commercial episodes. Yeah. Oh, those? that's right. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, and I had a hundred ideas, and they picked. Five. It was the la it was the lack of you that frustrated you about Hollywood. You're, oh yeah. You're like wait, no, no, why not am the I lack not of in me, there? That the fact that I think I'm as good as as Johnny Two Two Tones over there. There, who's he's he's like you know I watch his career just spiraling out of control and I'm like Johnny yeah, I can do that I, is I Johnny, right John, Johnny Two Tones here tonight I don't know <laughs> hey, he might be here yeah. you fucker mother fuck you no I mean but look I I have uh, you know I feel like I can do that so I'm like let me just do a show where I can do that I no wanna... executive is saying that stop being, that being that's in this crazy case, like a very well I can't ask you because I'm not going to start a beef between you and uh, Johnny Pemberton or whoever it is you're no you're, two tones no I, I'm, he's I, a friend actually, I'm so saying like <laughs> we're not going to I'm not going to ask you to tell me who it is that you do think you're you could do uh, yeah. please Johnny don't well. I, yeah please don't God. but 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 no, the, no I mean yeah, the alternative can. for anybody who wanted to come to the show but was still on the fence going like gosh maybe I you know like the do some well like, we have a lot of good special guests uh this month we besides martin Olson, we also have mike mccafferty of 101 fame and star trek 
uh, podcast on the Feral Audio Network. His Star Trek podcast is great. I like the yeah. Wrath of Khan one. We were just a uh, guest on there. And uh, uh, also, we will be having Becky Garcia, who's an adult swim writer. She writes on... Yeah, she wrote on things. Hot Streets. As of, yeah. a couple, as of a couple days ago, I was in the show, but then I... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I, uh, Jeff I, Davis was our special guest. I, I, I screwed up and double booked myself. But so you, I had oh, cool. you we'll get you in a few months. Abed, you in the show... Right. Like because you can't, you could say Johnny Two Tones, and I can do what he can do. Right. And we can't have you. We can't make you say. I mean Vince Vaughn. Uh, <laughs> like I'm. So I'm asking you, what are you? What are you doing in the show that you're like fucking? Come see me do my thing. I, God yeah, damn it. I'm. I'm like the Bob Odenkirk of the show. I just kind of write stuff and I act and stuff, but I don't give myself the main part because I like to be on the sides. And I like other people to... Abed's the crazy part. I, like to, I want to extract their craziness in my own way. and It's fun. Yeah, no, la it, last month we... Fulcher... Uh, well, Fulcher's... We have, there's, a, there's a sort of script that Abed writes, but he kind of just went off the rails and did... You know, uh, Fulcher really improvised brought the whole so section. much to it, and he made it way better than I wrote. So that was a great experience. Because I like working with him. Yeah. It was like we both had a talk show where we're the host at the same time. I saw Fulcher like in 1994, I think, for the first time at some oh, comedy, wow. comedy festival, and he came on stage as a show he did. I might, I might have the date wrong, but it was called Modern Problems in Science or something like that. And they <laughs> would, it was him and a couple other guys, and they would just get a theory, that they would have, that they, that, and they would get three different schools of scientific thought, and they would prove or disprove that theory. And his was Russian literature, and he clearly <laughs> didn't, didn't know. Like him. He clearly had never read any Russian literature, <laughs> but committed to it so fucking hard that it was like I, I watched it. I go, that's the funniest improv I've ever seen. Well, I I met him because I was his stand-in on Crossballs, hosted by Chris Tallman. Because yeah. you guys have a similar kind of. Well, profile. I was his stand-in, and he heard about me being uh, quite a. I, I just was talking the whole time, and Matt Besser told me to shut up. And it was like really crazy like experience. And then everyone, Falsh was like, oh, you're the guy that was my stand-in. Everyone said you were weird. Oh, yeah, you should plug your, you have a podcast with him. Yeah, too. I have a podcast with him on Feral Wait, can, can you keep doing your Rich Falsh impression? Oh, no, good. well. Oh, yeah, it's really, it's just it's like really I see laid so back. Much. Oh, that's okay. Like, speaking of other superpowers, I don't know how this will translate to a podcast, but remember at a party one time, you can do impressions of people, but not verbally. You can just visual. You can, impressions. He, he can embody you. Like, yeah, he, he, yeah he, I can embody he, you. Like, 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 he'll do visual impressions of, of like, like, do, like do, do Dan Harmon. Like, like give, give us some Dan Harmon. Well, I, I got a lot of things to say about the president. It's really crazy because <laughs> you guys are gonna like what I say. Okay, here we go. The, the president. I mean, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's a little fucked up. All right. Yeah, All right now, yeah, now, now do me. Do, do, do Jeff Davis. Okay. Now, uh, uh, the thing about it is, uh, Abed, so you do a character like Rich Fulcher in, uh, uh, I just got to see it for a second. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait. Uh, all right, yeah, now do it. Do it now. Okay. Now do Ted Knight. <laughs> oh, Mary. Oh, God. Oh, Mary, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm up tonight. And no, Mary. He's I'm just like saying Monroe. the name of the person. <laughs> now do, can you do Callie? Can you do a Callie? <laughs> We got a show to make. Get to work. What? So, so she's Minnie Mouse. I love yeah, she's like Minnie Mouse. Like? Yeah. Is that what well, it, like? She's easy to do because she's a character. You know, oh, you have to be a character. It's easier to do. Uh, yeah. If you really Google acting with Abed, and you'll see a uh, young Jeff and a young oh, Dan. That's old. And that's it, real. They all turn on Abed because oh, yeah. Abed's they trying to teach me, yeah. you guys acting. All right. All yeah. You guys all and yeah, Justin yeah, Roiland yeah. and everybody. You come after me because of a real conversation we had. Where you're I like, told you. you're like, oh, uh, I'm really intimidated by you. Uh, yeah, and I told you that at Rob's house, and then Rob goes, D don't say that. Why are you saying that to him? Wait, 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 do your Rob impression. Yeah, give us some Rob shot. Oh, <laughs> Abed, what are you doing? No, that's more like Ridley. No, he's like, you got to talk about his shit. Abed, you and me and Kate are going to go to this <laughs> restaurant. Like, where's, and we're going to learn about Doctor Who, my favorite show, and you're going to like it. That's God really damn it. Where do, yeah, you had an old one where it was like, my name's Rob Schraub, and I love taking shits. No, I know, but that was, I, I was being, I was, on, I was on camera, I was nervous, and Rob made me nervous because he was sitting there, like, just judging me with his eyes, being like, you better be funny, you motherfucker. Right. And so, yeah, that was awkward. Can you do Spencer? Uh, hey, guys, you're, yeah. we've got to get move things along. <laughs> We nope. gotta get move things along, guys. Wait, wait, wait. I can do. I can. Do. I, well, wait, wait, wait. I can do Spencer. Spencer's like this. 
I couldn't tell who did what there. That was amazing. Hey, He's how's good. it going? Well, you have to. She lives with me. It's so. true. I do Not live like with that, her. though. Or, or you live with you me. You guys are roommates. Oh, yeah, we're roommates. Yeah. Huh. We're roommates. Uh, There's a show. Yeah, no. Is Spencer yeah. a happy roommate? <laughs> He's like the best roommate I've probably ever had. I would had. imagine he'd be oh, a pretty right. good roommate. Yeah, no, I I hope my old roommates aren't listening, but really, you my are... My secret God is I spend most I of it. my life thinking I'm a terrible roommate. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. I, I can see him being a good roommate, well, okay, that's I get, like, trick. You have the most adorable cat that I get to, like, vicariously love. Yeah. Because she's got little short, stumpy legs, and she's super timid, and... And this cat has its own comedy show. She oh. does. Right, here we go. What about me? What about meow? <laughs> Yeah. yeah! Oh shit! Well, Hit it with a. It's me. Yeah, I might have a black eye and a broken nose, but I can still do the puns. Uh, you, yeah. You're looking pretty good with a broken nose, yeah. by the way. Thank you. It's, it's, Wait, it, it's healed fast. Cause last time I saw you, it was worse. Yeah, it's, it's getting better. It's pretty. Yeah, you're you're a good healer. Yeah. Good and job. You're, you're a big healer, Jeff. <laughs> he, he really knows how to heal this I guy. You know your way around it. Oh, I forgot. I did a doodle of your guys' new characters, but I didn't finish it. Oh. I should have oh, finished shit. it. I'll, I'll post it online. But, well, uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll put those up on the screen when we, when we play. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Be what, are, what, yeah, are the, yeah. what are the action items for, because we're really, you know, like, so for people that are in the area, okay, when's the show? What's so it called? What do the tickets cost? And uh, You can go to starburnscastle.com to buy tickets. It's this Thursday on July 6th, so after July 4th. It's called What About Me? What About Me with uh, Callie and Abed. Maybe in Cali. Uh, there's also well, music. I've been in Cali. There's a wonderful musician, Chris Lind, who's a friend of mine from New York, and I'm actually going to be doing a duet with him. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's also like a venue. What song are you guys doing? I'm not going to tell you. It's a surprise. Oh, I see. <laughs> but, like, uh, it's, like, I, like I, I play music, and I'm you a singer-songwriter, so it's also a venue where not only I get to participate in the comedy, and I let him kind of run off the rails, but I get to, you know, do well, new I'm songs. I'm lucky that she doesn't what, interfere what, with my comedy. When I eventually come on the show, can I sing a song with you? Of course. Are you kidding me? That oh, man, wonderful. you're a great singer. I would yeah. love to do, like, a country duet. Can you guys do, uh, yeah. it, I love a rainy night. No. That's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're a big Eddie Rabbit fan. We know that about you. All right. <laughs> All right. I, I tried. I tried. Thank you. But yeah, no, starburnscastle.com and, and just right here where we are right now. All right, let's right hear for Callie and Abed, everybody. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Check out this show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Go to Harmontown Castle. What about me? Thank you, my love. Also, find her artwork online. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. She, Callie Kazoo. Uh, dot com? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I have, uh, she did a p portrait of Roy Orbison for me that's hanging in my bathroom. Yeah, her Instagram is awesome. She's always doing the like the cute little like Cali looking things. I'm not an artist. I don't know how to yeah. talk about. Art. Because like she draws like this really cute like kind of cutesy pie Disney like pinup girl kind of things, but it's always about like kind of sadness and loneliness. It's it's, it's a good. Yeah, a lot of vomiting, a lot of crying. It's, it's very it's very good. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if we have time just for. A couple of Twitter questions here. All right. Oh, I hope we have time. It's it's nine. Somebody, somebody asked a really interesting question. Uh, so, somebody, I can't. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, he said, "If you had a thousand dollars, how much would you regret your life decisions?" <laughs> and I, I was like, "Oh, is that a joke?" I was like, "Oh no, you mean if I was? Yeah, fuck. Oh my god. It was really because I was like, if I if if I hadn't been as lucky in my life." Like, I w like, like, how much torture would I be inflicting on myself for every fucking thing that I've ever done? And it's like, it's fucked up that we do that to ourselves because I, I guarantee you, like, the, like I, I, the fact that I have more than $1,000 isn't the result of smart choices, nor should, I, nor should I be patting myself on the back for the choices I made. Like, it's kind of two different things. It's like two different graphs, like, oh, money got made, but then also mental illness was explored. Uh, <laughs> And only because I don't have bad consequences to blame on who I am, uh, am I able to say, oh, those are two different things. So if you're broke and you're nuts, uh, go easy on yourself. It's 9-11. 9-11. It's 9-11. For people that have never seen the show or been here before, well, that's, please don't think we're terrorists. That's just a, that's a thing that we do. Yeah, Spencer, do you want to you want to dole out some uh, character sheets? We'll be right back. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take a let's take a mid roll break for a pre recorded ad during which the people that are in this space and the people that paid five dollars a month to watch get a secret dance segment. Damn, damn, do an armpit fart. 
Can you do it? I've never been able to do armpit farts. God, I'll show. I can show everybody. Can we? All can right, we, and we're back. No, 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 oh. no. I, 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 I can show. We're people. not back yet. I'll show people the, uh, uh, you know, that lady. The that last was... segment didn't get cut out, and any plebeians listened to it, even though it was like bonus and well, not they, for Well, they got some work to do at Feral Audio. They'll figure out how to do it, right? By the time that we actually make these segments worthwhile. There. I put Levy, you know, there was that lady. She's like, I can't remember who she is. Oop, the, oh, there. There she is. Remember her? She was on Twitter a little while ago because she was like bragging about how we're spending less on Wait, what is, what is this? She's the, U- she's the ambassador to the U.N., Mickey the U.S. Haley? ambassador to the U.N. So I was like, I don't know, I'm going to put Levy's face on her just, cause, just to give the old iPad a try. It's and really then good. like partway through it, I was like, hubba hubba, you know? <laughs> like, like nothing against her, and we're, you know, we're enlightened now. We're not, we're not going to judge uh, women, especially in politics, for their looks. But, but, uh, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you throw I mean, Levy's I, I, face I, on, like... I think it, we're finding out, we, uh, we found out he's a winter. <laughs> <laughs> That's really his color. And I have a type. All right. <laughs> Okay, well, boy, we're back, and man, oh, oh man, yeah. you should really pay five dollars a month. All right, you guys, you guys want to look at my apps? You guys want to hear a little bit of uh, Pathfinder role playing real fast? <laughs> let's get Steve. Oh, oh, let's bring Steve Levy up here. <laughs> There's people sitting on the floor. Did they pay less for their tickets? Uh, but, also, I, I, I want to say I want to say hi real quick uh, to uh, Heather and Andrew Gray, my uh, ex-girlfriend's uh, parents, who are here from Scotland, uh, uh, UK. Uh, we, 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 there, yes, uh, are you still back there, Heather and Andrew? Hello. Uh, I, I think we owe you an, uh, a thank you and apology because we went to their house when Dan was still with Aaron when he when. When Dan proposed to Aaron McGathy, it was he, he had the ring in his pocket while we were at their house, and we proceeded to drink all of their scotch, all, all of their whiskey. So I hope we, we, we give them some back, but I think we drank most of it. I fucked up. I'm not signed into our Slack. Ooh. Because I, because I got a new, new 10.5-inch iPad. iPad, like a f- Apple douche. <laughs> but I don't have a car. And the world is ending, and I can do what I want. And I create jobs. <laughs> All right, Spencer, do you want to uh, you want to kick this off and go uh, give us a little recap? Yeah, I guess. Is it very excited about it? I always am. All right. Fuck. Bitch. I feel like maybe I don't know. Should I not? I'm just thinking that there's a trend where I read this while Dan's occupied, and I think we're playing into that trope if I start right now. Thank you. you That's know? nice of you to notice. All right. So I'm in the DMT Dan, you, channel. Dan, do you want to put your little uh, fidget spinner down for a minute while we... No, uh, no, he's... He, oh, yeah, I guess that is a solution. Well, what's new in Steve's world? Yeah, let's catch up with Levy for a You're moment. You're wearing shorts. Levy, you look great. What the great. fuck's going on? Dang. You, you look fantastic in a nice, nice wintry pink. Uh, you, did, uh, did you know that? I do now, I guess. Yeah. You, you, look, a little, you look a little wiped out. A little your jacket things. looks tucked into your shorts. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. It's not, yeah. You okay, Steve? Yeah, just... just a, little, a little tired? A little tired. What happened? Long day? Yeah, long, long weekend. Holiday weekend. Yeah. It's just beginning. It's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not for, I, not for me. It doesn't feel that way. No, no. You got to go back to work tomorrow. Uh, Steve always works. Yeah. Spencer actually he covered for me all day Friday, and I love him for that. Thank you. Right. Steve always works unless he doesn't. Okay. Um, I have my character sheet up, and I and I and I'll just multitask between that and the Slack to look at the PDF of uh, of the uh, spell sheet, and I'll and uh, you know. I'll, every once in a while, I'll pass this photo of Levy and get a boner, but I, I'll... <laughs> that's just going to have to be like a little handicap that I... So, uh, a, 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 which, a capability, a different ability. Which picture, which picture do you think you, you could more successfully masturbate to, the original of that woman or the, or the, the edited Steve Levy one? No, for sure the Levy one, because... 
I, I yeah, know for th- sure. I'll, I'll, in my heart, I'll be like, even you know, like it, 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 it's like she was. You know, the only reason I have her photo is because she was like she was bragging about the savings that we've made by not 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 uh, you know caring enough of, as much about the UN. And Steve, which photo of Dan do you think would be the easiest to masturbate to? Uh, Probably that one with his balls, right? Oh, no. It's so so easy to embarrass Steve Levy. It's almost unfair. No, I know. It's great. That's why I brought him up. When you, yeah. It's like every every group text, like, like, no matter what anybody says, it's like a a hair trigger. You're going to get the uh, monkey with his... The see no uh, evil monkey. Yeah. Yeah, You you, you get shy monkeys. And if it's really embarrassing, because, like, there's also the thing that Cody and Dan... Occasionally, me there's a picture of Dan with his balls out that we it, just said. It, we, it we got s- worse. It got worse a couple of weeks ago, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. We, we like to Cody and I like to trick Steve into looking at my genitals, and uh, uh, like Cody will take pictures of me in hotel rooms and stuff. And then I had there was a hotel and it had like a, a it had like a thing that was like a, I don't know why it would have this, but it was like a thing that we're... No, it's a thing you put on your doorknob outside I, the hotel room. breakfast. Because it means that you want... You want breakfast? They'll deliver breakfast. They will, they'll, they'll take your order or something. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you yeah, fill that up. Morning. You fill, okay. You fill well, that up so before 6 a.m. You hotel that had that, but it was like, well, guess what's going through there? And then, like, so it's just, it's just you know, it's just a circular hole. It says breakfast, and then I'm like... And, and, and so I'll just... Yeah, you you, Dan- you you could just text somebody. You could just send that photo to somebody, and you'd be tricking them into seeing it. But it's like funnier to be like, "Hey, Steve, uh, I need those tax forms." we also- have you seen the thing? We were in like- the middle of the desert in some random bar doing work, and Cody is texting me in the thread with Dan, and she's like, "You know, we we got to do this thing." And hey, can you help me with this? I'm gonna send you some stuff that I need help on, and then just. This picture of Dan goes through. <laughs> We're oh, sitting yeah. at the bar in public, and it's three or four images in a row of him was dick yeah. through the breakfast. That kind of thing. backfired because it was like there this was a dark guy. Burbank bar, and these giant screens, and it was just like in the timeline. I'm like, ah, ah. and there was a guy next to Dan who clearly saw this picture. This like conservative misogynistic guy who uh, and he just we're, we're we're laughing, and he commented on us like laughing at and, and I don't know, it just. And then Dan got sucked into this horrible conversation. I mean, <laughs> didn't you guys at Starburns recently have a sexual harassment workshop? Like, 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 like thing? Yeah, every, we every, did. How does this not qualify as It's full? totally fine. Well, you Dan, obviously missed the meeting. Dan had... Co- <laughs> if, it's, if, if it has to be unwelcome exactly. in order for it to be Exactly, it has bad. to be unwelcome. Right. Also, Steve technically, Cody it. sent it to me, so okay. she's not. Yeah. She doesn't work with yeah. me. D- D- Dan had no involvement with that at all. He, he didn't. He didn't want you to see a picture of his dick going through the breakfast line. I don't know. I think Dan texted Cody like, "Yo, it would be funny if you sent that picture to Levy." I, I don't want to see that photo. I'm a little sad I wasn't on that group text, though. I feel a little <laughs> left out. But by the way, it was a preemptive uh, sexual harassment seminar. A lot of companies have them. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, <laughs> we were overdue, probably <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Well, don't say that either. I think there it was is. right on time. No, because we're so good at <laughs> a it. A traditional educational thing to equip all of our employees with the knowledge they need to make a safe environment. Right. It, it, it took you guys 45 minutes to make your next dick joke uh, in front of everybody. It was oh, like well, yeah, every, two everybody weeks. that works at a company that's had those knows that those days are the days that everyone is the grossest. Because everybody has like this camaraderie, and then they're like, oh, we're going to do the sexual harassment. And then everyone, and then people start like, you know, like, it's, uh, I, I'm above it. I'm, I'm, uh, because I, because then I have a separate meeting where the lawyer comes in and goes, like, okay, here's your meeting, like the management thing, where they go, here's the number of ways you can get sued and for how much money. I'm like, oh, feminist. Like, 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 I. Like, 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 I'm, I'm just like, 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 I, I, I was, I was woke before I started talking to these people, but now I'm like wide awake. Like, You're wide awake. I'm like five hour energy. Like, who's feeling unsafe? <laughs> All right, Spencer, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, sure. Dan, are you ready to, uh, are you ready to rock here? You should save that image to your photo stream. Yeah. Wait, what, what, what would that do? You don't have to log into Slack that way. Oh, I, 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 I needed to get into Slack for the spell uh, loadouts. I had this in my photo roll. Got it. You look nice tonight. 
Wow. You should wear more sweaters. <laughs> He's straight up harassing you. <laughs> this is the definition of harassment. All right. This okay. Well, then I, all right. All right. It's cut and dry. It's not as gray as you might think. It's also like technically one of the things you learned in these seminars is someone in this room could make the case. They're like, yeah, you could go to a lawyer and you could say, I watched a conversation between Dan and Steve that made me un feel unsafe uh, at a Harmontown show. And you could, Nick, you might uh, find the right lawyer. I wouldn't put that out there. All right, Spencer. <laughs> Take it away, Spencer. All right. Uh, last... Last time on Harmontown D&D. &D. You guys were in the town. You had came to help because they had asked for your aid and you showed up and punched a kid because he was possessed by multiple entities. Fake news. <laughs> this is why you won. Then uh, what happened was you left and you went and checked out some burnt out buildings, finding some buried corpses. Then you went to the church and talked to the church prior. He was all weird and you were like, whoa, he was saying, it was Tom. Tom's the bad guy. And you weren't buying it, but Jeff was buying it. And Diarrhea Jr. was there. The end. Yeah, we're like, we're our third chapter in, and because we did this the last time in a in a tent in the summer uh, at a at a festival, I we're already into the whole thing that like I'm like, oh yeah, what did we do? I remember we went to the friar and but then like Okay, where, so where are we? We, we, we went back. We, we, we went got back we, we got holy water from the friar. Went back to Tom's house. Right. And we tried to kick his door down eight times, but we couldn't do it because we're all. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, because like, you kept oh rolling God, apparently yeah. ones or twos, and we couldn't kick a door down. Wait, so put I, the music I, back on. Hold. On. I, I I can't. <laughs> right. You, you want the music? <laughs> Uh, the Jeff tried to burn the door down, and then they started throwing rocks from the second floor, and everybody took damage. All right, now it's cut. And, that, and that's currently where we are. We're on the yeah, outside of the yeah, house. Yeah, you're so outside. I'm at the back door. Jeff tried to burn it down, and then Steve put the water, or he put his water skin on it to put the fire out, and J uh, Dan tried to kick it down kick down a door, and then you guys tried to kick down the door, and they're throwing stuff at you from so are, the... are we in a combat situation right now? Yeah, you're in a combat situation. All right. Uh, you're in the back of the house, right, right uh, Carlos? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Carlos. I, I, I call out to Carlos, like, Carlos, come back out to the front of the house. We're getting rocks thrown at us, and I need your help. Okay. I want to climb, climb to, the, to the window. Yeah. All right, I got to get my dice. Yeah. <laughs> and should I, we? <laughs> I, I wish I had like sex, guys, sexy stripper music. Stuff. <laughs> it's like it's like when a, a, a an '80s wrestler gets his uh, snake out of the bag. <laughs> Which '80s wrestler, Dan? All right, I'm sorry I didn't. The Snake Man. I don't know. I wasn't part of that culture. Jake the Snake. Well, how inventive. Uh, uh, sorry, should, should we just say that I'm doing loadout one just to keep things simple because I keep fucking up with my, I didn't, you know. Yeah. That, that, okay. Because we have been using loadout one and we still are. Okay. It, we're, no, it's important to establish that. Yeah. Though. You climb up the house. You're on the second floor window. Who Steve. Is? You did? You? I climbed into the house because we couldn't open the door. He, 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 uh, he's being a man of action now, finally. Like, after, after putting out the fire, I, I set to try to burn the door down. I just want to know, did he do that in the front, or where were you in relation the to the front house? door? This okay. is the front Jeff door. Jeff the front and door. I'm, 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 all right, well, and, uh, a, a, yeah, sorry. It hasn't been my turn yet. So. Well, you came around. Your, your okay. turn happened first. You came around okay. to the front door. Then Steve climbed the, the wall. Okay. Careful. <laughs> Uh, I, I uh, say to, uh, to Carlos, uh, hey, this door is probably about to give in. Kick this door down. You're stronger than I am. Me? Oh, shit. I, fuck, I'm you are, sorry. You, you are Carlo yes, Carlos. Yes, yes. Huh? Yeah. Uh, all right. <sighs> Silver flame, guide my foot. It guides it directly into the door. You kick it, and nothing happens. Jesus Christ. 
What so, is this door? It's a really of? strong door. I don't know, but I think this is the fourth attempt to kick down this door. Hey, hey. Is it is it weakening at all? Can we tell that it's maybe giving in a little bit? Um, no. Your your attempts have made it seem like this door is made out of iron or some shit, even though you can tell it's not. All right. I I um, I, I use uh, my shillelagh because I have a, uh, a my, my 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 quarter staff as a plus one weapon damage of two d six. So I, uh, I just give it a full. Oh no! I shoot a firebolt through my. Uh, I, I use my my weapon domain and I shoot fire through my shillelagh at the door. You shoot a firebolt. Is it, is it, what, what do I have? What, what shoots out of my? Uh... You can shoot all sorts of things yeah, out of all I, sorts I, I, of places. I, 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 I shoot a magical, like actual flame at, at the door. Yeah, well, you have multiple spells that shoot fire. A fire bolt is a spell, or is a thing you could do. All right. That could be the answer. I just want to make sure. Okay, yeah, uh, fire bolt. Okay, <laughs> sorry. You do that. You shoot it. It starts burning. <laughs> it's burning, and now Steve's on the second floor, oh. so it's not going to put itself out with water. But, again, it will take a while because fire is not, you know, it's a thick door. It takes a while to burn a door down. Yeah, yeah. I, I step back after that, and so I can, I'm out of rock. The door is on fire. Right. Okay. How about yours? Yeah. 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 I'm having a great time. <laughs> well, whose turn um, is it? I, I, I should know. Is it? Yeah. Is it, it's my turn. All right, uh, Tom Fell tries to stab at Steve Levy with a knife. Oh, he misses. <laughs> he lunges and drops the knife out the window. Nice. Uh, oh. Uh, now it's a dance turning up. Yay! <laughs> uh, is, 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 is Diarrhea Jr. close enough, even though he's up there? I just want to do one of these things, like be a good cleric and do that like buff thing where I like send a cha an energy channel out with that make like uh, buffs everybody in my which which one channel it's, energy it, is that's it, a heal spell uh, or what good aura deflection aura no is it good aura isn't that is that, that just means uh, you have an oh, no, aura I'm sorry. that radiates that's a description goodness of my aura. sorry I, yeah God damn it I'm really fucking up I'm sorry Spencer. no you're doing great you're asking uh, questions and getting don't, information no, okay all right, all right all right shit shit no I thought I had a thing where I could like I'm sorry I I, I really I, 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 and then I got drunk, and you know I got all riled up because of that. Uh, uh, I was you thinking know. about how riled up you had gotten. Yeah, it was Abed. You know he's so defensive about that fucking story. It's just like just accept it. You talk a guy to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he voted for Jill Stein. <laughs> I bet he did. We not, don't know. Not, that. not only did did he not, but if you did, it's fine. I don't care. I, don't, don't, I don't. I don't want a part of any. <laughs> Any incidents? Um, I, I'm not. I, 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 uh, shit. I thought. I'm, okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Throw me the holy water. Um, I, I'm gonna throw you the holy water. <laughs> I thought I had a thing that was like. Oh well. All right. I thought I had a thing. What's your dexterity? <laughs> uh, it's pretty high. Yeah, I think uh, it's like. It's twelve. Really. Yeah, as clerics go, you know, we don't, we don't spend a lot of time at the gym. And Wait. So, Sorry. What? You don't have the throat. Well, Steve has the holy water. Yeah. That's, I do? Well, you have it. Yeah, it's in a bottle. Oh, you're right. Your jar. That's right, it's in my jar. Because Dan would have but, dropped it. But, but I, I, I have some too. You and I both have holy water. Oh, okay, yeah, now I remember. But Thanks. Dan used his. <laughs> uh, is it my turn? Uh, no, it's still Dan's turn. <laughs> All right, so I, I, I'm I'm going to because the door is on fire. Is there a window we could just go in and not deal with this crazy ass door? You could climb through the window I climbed through. I'm just gonna kick the flaming door. Okay. It's round five. All right, you kick in the flaming door. Kick it in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's the level we've been reduced to. They're cheering that we did one thing. Right. And yeah. We've been trying for an hour to kick this yeah. fucking door. You wouldn't be cheering if you were the family that lived here. Like where they haven't really technically done anything to deserve this yet. Right. Yeah. We don't know that. All right. We don't know that, but that's when you shouldn't yeah. kick in their door. Exactly. <laughs> 
Um, um, all right. Okay, so you kick in the door and it flies off its hinges. It lands on the ground, smoldering and firing. We're here to help. <laughs> you not be a piece of shit. I see Tom. Is Tom there? No, he's upstairs. Okay, I run upstairs. All right. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay. Steve's turn. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, I, I go into the their kid's bedroom. All right. Well, Tom, <laughs> Tom's... <laughs> Just that as a, a time code here, if you want to make a GIF. <laughs> um, well, Tom's Tom's in the in the window. He's like you're you're kind of outside the house, and he's on the inside of the house. So oh, I didn't climb into the house. No, yet? you're on the outside of the house because oh. he's like threatening it, well, like he was trying to stab you. Well, I. I... I want to do a move where I, like, jump through the window and kick him. All right. You jump through the window, and you try to kick him, but you just jump in the window. <laughs> now you're inside, but, you know, your kick missed, and he, like, whirls around. He's like, ah. All right. Uh, Jeff's turn now. I, I, I run upstairs to that room. All right. You do that. Um, is, it, is the door open? Uh where where you are where steve is is kind of like the landing of the house it's not a room it's just kind of open uh -huh. so that's you're both standing in that and then there's two closed bedroom doors uh do i know which one tom is in like whatever you know which one was the kid's room because you were there earlier. okay I, I i open that door all right you do that is that is that the end of my turn uh the kid well, you see the kid he's 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 still belted to the bed he doesn't seem awake though. But, but tom's not there no, Tom is in the landing with Steve. Uh, can I keep looking, or is that the end of my action? Uh, what are you looking for? Tom. He's with Steve. He's on the oh, landing. Oh, so I was just there. Yeah. Okay, I take out my holy water and throw it at him. All right. It hits him. Wait, does it hit him? It hits him right in the eye. You see, you see the, wait, what kind of, what, what, is, what is the holy water in? Uh, like, I, like a wine skin, I just like, squ I squeeze it and squirt it at him. Okay. Um, I, it, I swear I had a five-gallon uh, drum of it somewhere. But. You, you had holy water, but you used it, and I think you marked it off in your sheet, but you don't have the current sheet. Uh, I was just doing so. a callback. Oh, the... sorry, everybody. <laughs> right, because the sparkles yeah, the, 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 the sparkles yeah, guy yeah. stole your holy water. Sorry, it's everybody. It's not your fault. My joke didn't land. They, they would have laughed. I'm sorry they Dan's joke laughed. didn't land. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh... Uh, what? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, so I, no, I, no. I, 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 I like, like, you take my wife. Right in the hold. eye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he stumbles backwards and lands on his back. Um, he's like, ah, ah, water's in my eye. <laughs> See, that's the thing about hitting them in the eye with the holy water. You still don't know if they're uh, evil. Because they're like, ah, there's water in I my eye. I was so sure that he was evil. <laughs> his flesh doesn't, um, you know, uh, like steam like a vampire's or whatever, you know? And by the way, meta, meta gaming table talk, but the fucking guy that we talked to, the friar had shit all over his face. I'm not saying that makes you a bad person, but he was like paranoid and crazy. All right. I don't know if he had shit all over his face. Also, you did throw holy water at him. The friar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've kind of... See, this is what I do. I yeah. alienate. So it, that was great. That was so much fun. Go back and listen to that. Episode. Oh, I, I will. Okay. Oh yeah. So the holy, the, the holy water has oh, no terrible. no effect other than just being water in this guy's eyeballs. No. Yeah. Well, it knocked him over. The holy water. The force of the holy water knocked him over. Yeah. It hit him right in the eye, and he fell hit backwards. Hit him in the eye. I mean, what you of all people should know. I didn't. You... A guy punched me at a Nick Cave concert. I didn't fall down. I just spilled my drinks and bled all over my suit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, and we spent the episode talking about Abed. Yeah. Uh, you know, he talked to a guy while he was asleep. Yeah. Um, I. It's probably, it's probably the end of my turn. Uh, you can move, but yeah, more. I, or less. I, I, I get on top of him and try to subdue him. Like, I, I take some rope out and try to, like, like bind him. All right. Well, you go to do that. Okay. You, you can't quite start it, but you get in his space, so you're kind of, like, threatening him, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, he, he just starts crying. He doesn't try and fight or anything anymore. He just starts crying. <laughs> okay. Is it? Whose turn? Dan, sorry. Oh. Uh, what's this? 
I only know this guy's name is Tom, right? It's Tom Fell. Tom he, Fell. He, he fell from grace. He's right. a. He's a. We think he's a baddie. Tom Fell, of what's the town's name? Roan. Tom Fell of Roan. You have many enemies. We might be your only friends. You must tell us the truth. <laughs> uh, he's just crying. He's like, whatever. <laughs> just leave me alone. Leave us alone. Nah, that's not gonna work. That never works. Yeah, you look around. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent my spent my turn. Uh, no, nah, you can still do some talking. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I just want to. Uh, uh, what if I? Okay, let do, me. Don't you have some sort of clerical healing or let like, me try like this. evil casting out kind of abilities or no? Well, you know, I'm not. Uh, look, I, let me try. Is he damaged to the point where, like, can I, like, don't I have, like, uh, like, like, maybe I can get in this guy's good graces with, like, just to and make him understand that that we're we're civil servants, you know? Like, if I were to go, if I were to just, you know, wait, where's the, okay, like, uh, what is it? Well, if I just use that channel thing, and I just go, can I just heal him? Yeah. He's not. He's not damaged. Yeah, he feels healed though. I go. I got. Hey, man, you all right? What are you doing? Look, there's something crazy going on in this town. Like everybody's. Everybody... Yeah, there's a fucking nightmare church that's bursting into people's houses and not healing sick people. Is this not the first time this has happened to you? No, this is the second time you have been here this evening. <laughs> That feeling when your trail of clues leads back to you. Uh, Damn it, we're so bad at this. <laughs> what's the What's the kid doing? The kid is in the room. He's He's in the bedroom. Is he Is he Does he still seem evil? Does he still seem evil? Who are you asking? Uh, the uh, you. He's, well, he's in the bed. He's not on the landing with us. He's in the bedroom. No, he's asking Steve you. is in the landing. Oh. Oh. He's I, with everyone. We, we, we tried holy water on the kid before, right? Dan missed, but then I mopped his brow with the, with the thing, and that didn't. Yeah. It, it kind of didn't do much, it right? It did some damage to him. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we can damage the kid all we want. Like we're we're great at that. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea. Go check on the kid. I walk into the room where the kid is. All right. The kid seems asleep. Oh. Well, Where's the wife? Does he does he look does he seem sick? He seems asleep. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't seem healthy. Is Who, Bonnie the wife there? Who's got you eyes don't on the see wife? The wife. No one sees the wife. I need a ten on the wife. <laughs> wait, a ten? So wait, Jeff hit the kid in the 20. eye with holy water, and he's now asleep. No, I Jeff hit the Tom in the eye with the holy dad. water. Oh, okay. Well, I want to take my glass jar of holy water and pour it on the kid. All right. Isn't he the one that's like sort of possessed? Yeah. yeah. What? I can't hear you. I'm on the landing. He, he gets experience points for, for, for doing that. Who? Je Dan? Dan, yeah. for, for no, knowing that he couldn't hear Yeah. Him. You get experience points for being on the landing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Jeff. Yes. Let's sidebar I here. I mean, who's Jeff? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa. Jeff gets experience points. This is Jeff. You're Chad. Talking to, you're talking to Chad. Chad, 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 Chad. Yeah. Yes. Steve gets experience points. What if... Look, I don't know how holy water works. I've never used it for anything like this before. Yeah. Do you think we should hold him down and chain him to the bed and then make him drink the holy water? I think he's, he's already belted he's to already the bed. He's already belted to the bed. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, just get in there and do, do your thing. Can, Go nuts up there. Follow, just, your, follow your heart, Diarrhea improvise. Jr. No wrong answers. Well, uh, can you help? All right. Uh, um, are, you, are you calling out to me? <laughs> Wait, you're not in the room? No, no. I'm, in, I'm in the landing. But I, I hear him and I go into the room with him. Yeah, right. It's a small house. It's a small house. Okay, so now Wait, I'm, come I'm, in here and help me hold this kid's mouth right, open. I, I, I go to the kid and, I, and I, I pry his jaw open and his head and hold his mouth open. Like, like I baby, take out my glass jar, like I bird. pop open the lid, and I start pouring it down his throat. All right, all right. That happens. 
we wait with wild expectation to wait, see wait. what the result. You should, you should close his mouth and make him I, swallow. I, I close it and shake his head like a popper in Mexico. Like a, you do that. Um, he starts frothing. You steam starts shooting out of his body. Um, steam starts shooting out of his body. And you feel a sharp, terrible pain in your, uh, what do you call it? Ankles. You forgot ankles? All right. You remembered oh, ankles? It. So we didn't have a 20 on the wife. Yeah. A knife shoots out and stabs you in the legs so for the three damage. Wife. Sorry. Each what? of you take three damage. Oh, she, she under, is look. she under the bed? Yeah. You God gotta, damn it. When you do a raid, you always look for the wife. They get they get a they get a homestead instinct. It riles them up. They get, they'll fucking like they'll take you out like 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 Rambo. How much damage did I take? You take three. Jesus Christ! I'm getting killed over here. All right, um, the 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 demon spawn child starts thrashing and 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 sizzling and frothing madly and spasming all over the place. You see you see a, a black spirit erupt from its mouth. That's it's all weird. It looks like a like a flat, dark-colored ghost silhouette kind of shadowy thing. And uh, right after that happens, you see the ghost kid kind of burst out of it, and it starts, like, it's wailing on the, on the demon. It's, like, punching at the demon. And they're just kind of wrestling on the floor, these two immaterial creatures. So is, is that the ghost of the brother the, the, that we saw from earlier? Uh, what, what, what was his name? Archer. Archer. Yeah, it's Archer? the ghost you saw in the past. So Archer is for now fighting a demon ghost that's... Emanating, they're both emanating from uh, Cliff. They have emanated. Now they're done being emanated. But yes. But they're, they're out fighting yeah. physically out in the room right Oh, now. yeah. They're duking it out. Oh, man. The production values are great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cradling Tom on the landing. This is going, it's going to be cool, man. Sometimes shit, you know, life doesn't. Why don't you just, you know, come back in the morning or something? Look. Or not burst down the door. Or not light the house on fire. Wait, Did so you guys put the house out? I think there's a burning door downstairs. You smell smoke real bad. I'll take care of that. But before I do, I want to say this. No offense, but I don't get the impression from where you live that you haven't made mistakes in your life. <laughs> You're right. Every citizen should live a perfect life in order to not be murdered by the state. That's not what I said. That's not, don't put words in my mouth. I don't, I don't, I don't come to where you live. No, I agree. I'm I, with do, you. I do come to where you Yes, live. you do. Yes. <laughs> you, you, you do that twice a night, apparently. All right. You're not even. I, no, I I'm agree. Gonna... I'm agreeing with you. Okay. Well, where's your water? What? Their water to put out the fire in your house I started. It's in the well. It's no well? It's in the well. Oh, oh. We live on a farm. All right. Well, I'm what, can, do you have any people that can go get some Fuck. Well, my wife is under the... Is there a bucket at the... Yeah, I, well, there's a bucket. All right. Well, come with me. I don't want you running around like a... Oh, well, there's a plan. He grabs the bucket and runs outside. I assume you're following him? Yeah. Yeah, he just does it normally and starts... He, he throws the bucket of water. He puts out the fire. It's, oh. it's nondescript. Teamwork. I, yeah. I, I hollered down and said, Hey, uh, we got a ghost fight up here, and a lady just cut my ankles... From underneath the bed, we got a we got a we got a code fourteen up here. Well, you're doing it all in a house that ain't on fire. <laughs> and there's like a Voltron uh, split screen. Of... All right. We're all working we... together. Synergy. That's great. We could call it. Let's keep going, though, right? All right, Tom. I'm gonna head upstairs because I'm a cleric. Sounds like shit's going down with your haunted son. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the best church in the world? Uh, yeah. All right. You know what? We'll sell you later. Yeah. <laughs> I head upstairs. Okay. I, I I fill him in and say, oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> we poured holy water down this kid's mouth. The mom is angry. She's underneath the bed. She just sliced us. And the ankles like a prison fight. Okay, are the are the spirits emanating? They're already emanated. They've oh, already, interesting. They're they're, they're, they're it's <laughs> this is post emanation. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, and uh, I mean, look, I, I don't want to point out the obvious. I don't I don't want to ghost explain. But uh, there's a ghost. <laughs> there's a ghost fighting what we think is the spirit of the dead brother Archer, and they're duking it out on the, on the mortal plane right now. Right. Well, I think we should help. <laughs> The good ghost. 
Are you bleeding from your ankle? Yeah, I took three damage. I'm, I, I, I eat a good berry. <laughs> Wait, do you? Yeah, I eat some good berries. All right. Do I see Bonnie? Uh, no, you don't see anything under the bed. How, how much healing do I take from the good berries? Well, each good berry you eat gives you one health, so it's up to you how many you want to eat. I eat three. Then you gain three health. Okay. So I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, I got to get some new socks tomorrow, but I, I'm. Uh... <laughs> I mean, as long as we're still talking, who who cut your ankles? There's a crazy lady under the bed. I mean, there's a lady under the bed. Yeah, the mom. I mean, like she might be just protecting her family, but it's a weird instinct to have a knife underneath a bed. <laughs> I don't. I don't really like her style. Yeah. I, that... I, I mean, seriously, we need to keep an eye on her. We we have to keep you know. Just don't get too close to the bed. Diarrhea, get the lady up from under the bed. Uh, I look under the bed for the lady. All right. Uh, well, describe I, that action. It, don't, don't look with your face. I don't. I, <laughs> I, I'm like, you know, like five feet away, and I okay. look to see if she's under there. Yeah, she's under there. She's <laughs> crouched up like a, like a big green tarantula. All right, so I, I take my slingshot, and I load it up. <laughs> And I right. shoot her in the head. <laughs> Not hard, just like, you know, like... We said awkward. no wrong answers. What's your attack bonus on the slingshot? Do you see that? Plus four. All right, you hit her. You hit her in the face. All right. With what, like a rock? Or and while, I'm yeah, assuming, rock. while she's in pain, I want to pull her out from under the bed. All right, that happens. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I have it under control. I, 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 can, I, can we do, like, a perception check on her or, like, a sense motive? Like, like is, she, is she evil or is she being is she, just being a, a good mom? You know what? <laughs> Save your dice. She's a mother. <laughs> Home is being invaded. She has, she has a knife she, under the bed. She's just doing the best she can she's, with what she's got. She, <laughs> She's, she's I don't care if she is evil. She's yeah. going to do the same well, thing she, as if she, she's good. She's either a, a great mom or Steven Seagal. <laughs> she's stuck. <laughs> either way. Uh, she seems normal, yeah. <laughs> right, so, so she, oh, <laughs> shit. I'm so sorry. I just uh, want to help your child. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. I Now I want to go over to the kid. I think... I think Diplomacy has gone out the window a long time ago. Wait, wait, just, just, just. We've won zero hearts and maybe give me one a second. If we're I, I, I take out my water skin. I try to give the kid some water and uh, and and some trail rations. All right. Well, the kids, the kids unconscious. I just laughed so hard I made my broken nose bleed. Oh no! Are you, do you need anything? Oh, oh no! Oh. oh. Yeah. Do I get his turn? Oh, yeah, you get his turn. Wait, there's freaking Morty drawings on there. <laughs> um, he's got. He's. He's. You're. Complete. Someone get that man a tissue. Hollywood. 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 <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> oh, How amazing would it have been when you got in a fight with that guy at the Nick Cave concert if he had you uh, cornered uh, and he had a couple guys and then all of a sudden like you all of your friends from jail the the the, <laughs> the latino like uh, hollywood guys you have a problem hollywood and then you look and it's just like nine dudes and they like swing like pirates into the fray yeah yeah all right continue um I so I, I just I I I I know this is like oh oh Dan just same old Dan he doesn't know how to play Pathfinder he I, I, but I could have sworn like I'm a cleric I'm level oh, yeah. two there's an evil beastie here in front of me in the form of this like black silhouette ghost like I got and I don't I just I don't have any like standard like just in AD and D in the 80s it was just I'm a cleric. I'll turn undead. It's just right. a skill I have. Like I don't have anything like that, right? Yeah, you'll get that next level, I believe. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> but for now, I guess I just go like, go, white ghost. You do that. The white ghost is going. 
Well, I guess it's a white ghost. The ghost, it's a ghost of color. Maybe it's the ghost of, of, of white Roan. Maybe, yeah. we've, maybe, maybe, maybe the whole the thing that happened here is we forgot Roan's rust belt. <laughs> Could be. All right. You root for the kid. Go, Archer, go. We believe in you. Come on. You believe in Archer. All right. Who's Someone else do something. Okay. Uh, Chad, are, are they in physical form or in ghostly kind of apparition form? Uh, oh, you don't wait know. Wait a minute. It's hard to tell by looking at it. They just look. They look ghostly. I mean, channel smite. This is a feat, mm -hmm. uh, which I hope does not fail me now. Uh, <laughs> use channel energy to deal extra damage to undead on attack. So basically, like if I could just do a standard attack, I mean, might as well do something. Attack the clearly the more evil of the two ghosts. I know who Archer is. What, I don't want to attack Archer. What do you attack with? Uh, I'm, of course, going to use my Morning Star. All right, what's the attack bonus on that? Plus two. It hits! And I'm using that channel smite. So I'm going like, in the name of her off to... I can't find my dice. The whole bag of dice. Dealing 10 damage. Your morning star phases through the incorporeal body of the demon spirit, but you can see the white energy of the silver flame that emanates from your weapon. Disperse the form of the demon creature as it slices through its mistly body. Oh, yeah! You get the sense that the ghost kid did most of the work. But you don't let that bother you because of the wins a win. <laughs> I think you did it. Thank, he thank did you. do it. And hey, uh, nice bullseye on that uh, housewife. <laughs> I, I was she cut my ankles. I was scared. You know, oh, I, she just, was the worst. I uh, didn't know. She's still she's still under the bed. You guys, you can hear us. Well, she's she out. Of the no, bed. he dragged her out after he hit her with a rock. Oh, oh right, right. We're we're the A team. <laughs> I mean, but well, right, results so are results. I don't want to be Machiavellian <laughs> about it. I turn to Tom and I go, come on, yeah, dot, we, dot, dot, house no longer on fire, kid no longer haunted. I'm talking about a good church. <laughs> so he now, passes out. What's happening with, the, uh, with Archer, the, the ghost of Archer, the, the, good, the good spirit? Um, the ghost kid looks at you like uh, in, a, in a regarding way. It's like, wow, people, huh? Can't, Archer, yeah. what's going on in this town? Archer doesn't really talk, but it kind of walks backwards and phases out of the wall. And you can kind of see it outside the window. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, he wants us. F diarrhea, follow the ghost. I, I, I follow Archer. He, uh, he's, uh, Archer's going to the, towards, the, towards the graveyard at the end of the city, at the edge of the forest. But would our heroes find a thing in the end of the the D and D? <laughs> All right, that's the yeah. yeah do you want a rap or something? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. we did it. Zach, Zach, you got a beat? Lay it on us, Zach. Zach McKeever back there, the DJ with the mustest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yo. Higher and higher. Rap. Hip hop. Rap. Rap. I'm getting higher and higher. I went out to the sun, said to the moon, I'm gonna combine you both real soon because I'm an alchemist. I combine things and make children sing. So I took some gold and some silver, <clears throat> put them in a bowl. 
Mm. <laughs> and I waited, but nothing happened. I'm a bad alchemist. Got a lot to learn about alchemy. Can't just put two metals in a bowl. They won't do anything. If they did, alchemy wouldn't be called alchemy. It would be called what normally happens. But this is how we learn. So I went to burn some books about alchemy because I was still not thinking right about how it works and thought if I could make alchemy have less information that relatively I would be more of an alchemist. It was misguided thinking. It was stinking thinking. It wasn't like Lincoln. He freed the slaves and created graves that are haunted by white America today. We struggle with integrity. <laughs> we played D and D, and we did it pretty nicely. I'm real proud of myself. When you say self, you're probably gonna rhyme it with shelf. shelf. There's almost no other word that you're gonna come up with. Elf. Mouth, south. Yo, I'm gonna take a tooth, put it in a booth, and it's gonna shoot Lincoln. That's a homonym, right? Yo, a mincy homonym. I heard my name coming in again. I sound like other things, and when I ring a ling, I suck my ding a ling. I got. I got a Roger Waters sized dick. I can suck on it just by bringing it to my lips. A hit, a hop, a hip, hip, a hit. Can you can you do like a Roger Waters sample about his dick? Like can you do a Pink Floyd like like yeah. mix in there? Uh, <laughs> the razor blade, the cold cut. Of British government issues you don't understand when you're 15, but they sound cool. I'm Roger Waters, the government of England in the 70s is confusing to you, but the general idea is disenfranchisement. My name is John Johnson. This rap has been hit and miss, but it's like a river of piss. Maybe it's made of piss, but it's still a river. You could try to fish in it, and if you catch a fish, it's still a fish even though it lives in piss, and you take it home, and you cook it up, and you eat it up, and then you get 7-Up to wash it down, but then you got diabetes. Thank you for coming to Harvard Town, everybody. I think we did it. Thank you to whoever brought me napkins and tissues for my bleeding nose. Steve Levy, everybody. <laughs> Kelly Fontecchio, Ahmed Gates, go see their show. What about me? Spencer Crittenden is your game master, of course. Thank you, Chris, Sarah, Zach, everybody. Church has said she can't be here tonight. Uh, I'm your uh, Crown Trouble, Jeff Davis. Your mayor is Dan Harmon. Thank you so much for coming. Did you get any of that? It's a good show. Oh, <laughs>